Okay, sorry about that, guys. Let me double check. I'm live, but uh, my PC just crashed. <laughs> like th maybe 30 minutes, not like 21 minutes into the playthrough. So hold on, let me get this set up again. Oh my god, my webcam looks terrible. One sec. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Sorry about that. My PC um, just every now and then will just freeze up. Last time I got a corrupted save. That's the last playthrough. Okay. So I apologize, guys. At least it saved when we were at camp. But we still might have to fight the hook horror. Or actually, was this before Balin? Hey, what's up, Seven Havoc? How you doing, dude? Dang it. Okay, so this was right before Balin. We'll just do Balin again real quick. <laughs> What's up, Bruce? How's it going, buddy? Were you watching earlier? I literally just crashed. I started screaming. I started streaming. And I crashed like 20 minutes into it. So we're just restarting now. I brought up that if you made guildies each week, you could make it where members see the vids or made guys each guides each week. Yeah. So here's the problem, Krovax. Um, my real life obligations are out of control. All right. So I'm gonna. Try not to kill Balin this time, I guess. Although, or we could just kill him again. I think he's I think he's already saved, so I messed up, but double stuck. Okay. We actually just go to camp, can't we? That's probably the easier way to do that. Should mind my step. I'll do that in the future. You stood in? Right on. Well good timing, man. Is this uh solo honor mode under Ground leader Orcles. <laughs> What's up, Dodo? How you doing, man? Just got to Act Three on my Gloom Rogue build. Nice. Yeah, that's probably if anyone's gonna try attempting solo honor mode, they'll probably want to try Gloom Stalker first. So, good decision there. Um, but yeah, Krovax. I uh, man. Not to be that guy. No one likes hearing adults talk about how busy they are. But um, I've got a baby coming in like four months. And so my wife needs me all the time. Plus I've got a career that uh, I do quite a bit. So I unfortunately can't. I can't commit to anything, which is what Something sucks. Oh, good. So he did die. Okay. So this will be the same as before we crashed. But yeah, um, just repeating, uh, I, I may not even keep that first video since it was only 20 minutes. So I'll just kind of repeat what I said at the beginning of the last video. I sold a bunch of stuff. I made a big blunder last playthrough. I sold Falara Louvre. I think I'm going to have this for a little bit, just for the hit chance alone. And even so, there's like some uh, gimmicks you can use it for, um, e even without like the shriek and sing uh, buff and debuff. So... I'll, I'll, I bought it back for 600 which sucks, but is what it is. I sold the rest of my stuff. So this is all my gold right now, 400 so I'm very poor. Well? Balin died. Losing his not no more the There's on, the noble stock. Okay. Pick up glue. Yeah, we're not too far behind. You will claim Actually, let's go shoot the uh, Bibber Bang. Before we go get the Mentar. With school and my newborn some Oh, that's... You got a newborn. That's right. Congratulations, man. I'll be there with you soon. Why'd you kill him? Um, because I accidentally killed him 20 minutes ago before my PC crashed. So I'm, kind of, I'm trying to keep... Uh, 
I'm trying to keep the playthrough similar. I don't want to seem like I'm cheesing anything. Not, not like <laughs> keeping Balin alive cheese anything. Like who cares? But plus, he's a uh, he's an abuser. So why not? Okay, I don't think either of these are the ones with the club. I try to keep the club for the bullet fight, the one that has the two in it club. Me. Yeah, I'll probably just delete that last video. Um, so the other thing I said at the beginning of uh, that 20 minute stream was I tried to respec because I was going to maybe spec out of dexterity. I would lose initiative, but I'd be able to put those points elsewhere, maybe in like wisdom saves or something else. Um, unfortunately, I am an oathbreaker, so I would need to pay a thousand gold before I could do that. And I'm a poor boy. That would be really nice when I hit level 5. So for right now, the goal is to do like the easiest fights we can at level 4. And then when we're level 5, we can pretty much do all the other fights. Okay. I don't know where... There he is. Okay, we'll just open with Sing. So I don't really want to be going first. Would you like me to look into adding a Discord bot that sends a notification? With, dude, Zalzira, you don't you don't have to do that, man. But if you're willing to do that, that would be huge. I spent I spent like one day going all in on like Discord management, and then I just got burnt out and had shit come up. But yeah, man, absolutely. I should probably like make mods too, huh? To be honest with you, I didn't think I was going to be doing this streaming stuff this long. But now I just don't have an excuse. Okay. Probably just hang out next to him. We can get to him this round. He's prone one round. Okay, so even though that one attack prones for two rounds... Let's see if he saved, actually. No, he failed. So even if, even though that uh, the horn blast generates two rounds of prone, when they get to one round of prone, it won't, like, apply the second round. If that makes sense. He's just at two. This is a one. Moon Man, what's up, dude? Um... Your Orin battle freaked me out for my solo honor. Dude, it made me so sad. I was up till 3 a.m. last night. Just, like, feeling bad for myself. <laughs> um, equipped solely for beating your initiative and bought a haste pot plus three scrolls of autos. That's the play, dude. Autos is so good. It was a murder good. I'm glad you made it, man. <sighs> it's embarrassing I lost to that. But, hey, thanks, man. Thanks for the donation. I appreciate it. Um, thank you very much. You've donated a lot. You don't have to do that, but... Thank you. Um, can I get the Discord link? Yeah, let me pull it up. Sorry, it was it was on the it was on the other video and then it crashed. And I'll probably put in the description after this. Otherwise, it'll be in the chat here. Give me one sec. Invite people. And yeah, like anyone who wants to just like come and talk about the game or just chill and like bullshit, feel free to drop by the Discord. We'd love to have you. Okay, here's the link. Boom. Okay. Saved. Dies here. Easy enough. Seeing this playthrough to get pointers for my Paladin playthrough? Paladin's not too bad, I don't think. It takes a little bit to get rolling. Well, oh man. I'll wait until we have like a full house in here. But I'll, I'll just say it now. I'm really, really debating between uh, multi-classing into like a Sorkadin. Or 
multi-classing into a barded in. So I think the bard has heavier smites, whereas the sork has like the additional spell casting, um, concentration proficiency, you know, can cast haze, can twin spells, shit like that. So that's my dilemma right now. It's okay, I want to get to learn a Discord a little better too. I need it for work. Oh, well shit, if it helps you too, then fuck yeah. Um, yeah, after this I'll, I'll make you a mod. I appreciate your help, man. And when I finally do retire, I probably shouldn't say this on stream. Never mind. <clears throat> Which is better, the Minotaur or the birds? I like the Minotaurs, for sure. Okay, so we got that. Especially the Minotaur with the club. He slaps. Okay. We don't have the... Oh, we do have the hunting short bow. Dude, we're... We roll. Probably get surprise. Turn based. Shoot. Surprised. Everyone's in combat. My question would be, do I shield of faith now? Because if he hits me with hypnotic pattern, I would lose concentration, right? We're gonna stay over here. Swift as my feet we'll make him come to us. That's probably a better play. You can go here. And you stand back here. Okay. Now we go again, huh? Oh yeah, he's a surprised. We'll actually open with that. Hunter's Mark, shoot him. We don't do a ton of damage, but it's chip damage. We'll take it. Greetings, Kings. What's up, Morgana? Or what's up, Evelyn? How you doing? Barded in. It's it's a very very tough decision for me. There's just there to me. Here's the problem. I haven't played them, so I just don't know. But on paper, just when I'm thinking about it, it feels like Sorcerer has so much flexibility that overall it'd be better suited for like a full playthrough. But I do I do think the Bardenin does the most damage. For sure. Alright, come on over, man. A little scuffed YouTube emotes. Yeah, they're ridiculous. Alright, here we go. Now they're coming, now they're coming. Should we get... They're not even going to join the fight. Let's see. Yep, they joined the fight. Now I'm thinking we jump over. Here we go, here we go. Oh, maybe I just fucked myself. I want to kill Phil Rose so bad. Get out of here. I might have, I might have just screwed myself because the bullet's probably gonna go for me, right? That's probably a terrible play. Let's see. All right, and we can for sure smite this guy. Don't do as much damage as I would like. Would I lose concentration? I stopped concentrating. I got prone, huh? Okay. Let's see. Let's see what happens before we do anything. Nice attack of opportunity. Oh, don't hurt my homie. Morgana the goat. You have to try a scoundrel ring. That's Act Three, right? Okay. Yeah, I think I think it seems like the Sorkadin can come online. Fuck, I don't know. I really have to break it down. Maybe I just go pure Paladin until Act Three. See ya. Now we don't get to loot him. Oh, he left scribbled notes. Okay, the uh, bullet and the hook horrors are fighting here. This is actually ideal. We'll make him. We'll force him to come across again. 
blood comes easy these days. Um, we don't need to do this. Actually, undo. We'll pommel. That's my boy! Yeah, thanks again, Zazir. That's really cool that you're doing that. Nothing passes AoE control spells. That's that's what keeps sell selling me on the bard. Is like Helm of Arcane Acuity, uh, do some flourishes, build up stacks, and then bomb them with either like a hold person for a single target or uh, some big AoE control Time for multi target. Missed. Wait for him to come. Consider a two level splash of cleric with Sork. Sanctuary saves your ass. True. True. Ow. Snap. He did some damage to me. Okay. So I need you to prone them right now. We'll focus this one down. Okay. We'll smite. My question is, do I save for the last smite or a shield of faith? Feel like I shield. And as long as we don't get killed next round, which we shouldn't. Because this guy's going to be fighting the Minotaur because they're engaged. This one's going to be either doing nothing or standing up. I'll go here. Okay. Do your little multi-attack. Holy fuck, he's insane. 24, 44, 58 damage from that. Jesus. Where are you going? What was that? Did not click there. Okay, two turns prone. I wonder if this is worth the cost. We'll just heal. Attack. Multi attack. Sork and Split is 7 pals, 5 Sork. I've seen 6 and 6 as well. Bardin is 6 Bard, 2 pal, 4 Bard. Oh, I see what you're doing. Okay. Yeah, I need to break it down. I need to break it down between the... See why some people go 6 and 6 and why others go 7 and 6. Or 7 and 5. Okay. Mentar's turn. He's almost dead. Should finish it here. Okay. GG! I no longer need you, so we'll jump you into the pit. Never a dull moment. Do some video records and OBS that will tell you the sound levels. What's inside? Light on my feet. Look at the Far Realms, the most broken thing in this game. It's good. Well, it's, it's especially good on this class. On a smite, it's insane. Here we go. Oh, with the ease of multi-class, yeah. Storm Sork with Tempest Cleric would be funded for a solo run? Yeah, I was thinking that too. I really... Uh, what it needs, what needs to happen, is someone needs to break down the numbers, and I'm unfortunately too busy, so I might just pick one and say fuck it. But w how much fun would that be to open with the thunderous smite um, that you have tempest cleric, so you like auto crit it and just and just blow someone away? That'd be fun. Let's 
Sort, sort Tempest isn't exactly fun, but you do blow people up. Yeah. That's why I stayed away for, from it for the most part. It seemed way too powerful initially. I'm actually more open to trying it out now that lightning charges have been fixed. So I've, I've never actually tried it. Okay, I'm out of spell slots. Guys, is this going to be like uh, my sorcerer playthrough where I'm just constantly out of slots and having to rest? Yo, what up? What's up, Mateo? How you doing, man? Missed last one, but made it? Hell yeah. Welcome. Yeah, last session was uh, very depressing for me. Losing that barbarian. Bet that will fit in my Probably plan. my most tilting loss yet. So most, most, most deaths I can bounce back from pretty easy. But that one really stuck with me. Okay, did I pick this one up? I did. Okay, so we'll go get the bullet again. Kind of want to wait till five to fight the bullet, but or I meant Minotaur. Kind of want to wait till five to fight the bullet. Maybe we fight the Dwergar. Pick up this one. This also is not the one with the club. Hey, just want to say you inspired me to start doing solo auto mode. Good, dude. That's my goal. I'm so glad to hear that. Runs and I'm nonstop dying. Dude, <laughs> yeah. Dude, I feel you. I respect you a lot for casually running through the game when I manage to die some goblins. It's, yeah. It's all repetition, man. It, But it, I tell you what, it's so rewarding when you finally get that... Uh, you won screen, you know. So I'm really glad to hear that, man. Good luck in, uh, good luck with your runs. Hopefully you're able to get it. Oh yeah, well. <laughs> good thinking, Dodo Raptor. Yeah, here's the here's the Discord link again. Um, come hang out, man. We're we're discussing this stuff all the time discussing mechanics and builds and everything everyone's really really nice really chill we've had zero drama so come hang out what build are you doing uh i guess i'm oathbreaker because there's no way i could um do any other kind of paladin playing the way i do so we're Oath oathbreaker build we'll probably do shield we're doing max armor i've got heavy armor here we are my first feat was heavy armor master so I am re all the physical damage done to me is reduced by three. So that's where I'm at. Okay. Run these guys up. Dwergar really don't like the mushrooms. Go turn the boots. Get the leather. There's the boots. Right. We use it not too. Okay. Now we gotta destroy that ladder. See where these guys are at. Doesn't look like they're moving. Okay. Which is perfect. Um. I'm always afraid I'm gonna like aggro doing this. Okay. Now his zombies can't come up. We'll stand next to this person to reveal him. Oh, we haven't got our uh, eye yet. Okay. We'll rest and go get our eye Better from Volo. Or we can do that right now. What's up, Apollo? How's it going, man? Uh, Having issues with your solo honor wizard? That's because you're doing the hardest run I can think of. Besides uh, Jake's jack-of-all-trades. I 
Volo cat the needle f the Volo Volo slow Volo Volo Right But yeah good luck Paulo that shit's uh intense You carry a gift walk away the Hello Lord. No others Just you and me If anyone asks I'll say you were transforming Don't expect to be mourned I wonder if I have to fight both of them if I lose that intimidation. Let me up. Probably not. Probably just have to pick one. You're the people's champion. <laughs> you guys keep saying that, but I keep dying. But thanks, man. I appreciate it. I did see, uh... Luality did beat her first uh, solo honor mode, so I think I think she's the first person to do it. So congratulations to her. Okay, I think I can go reveal this person. Now. Oh, not you! Damn it! Oh, don't come back. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. It's really annoying you can't make these guys just stay put. Or like a uh, D tether from you. Saving. Damn, it's shadow cute. Maybe I'll keep her alive this time, we'll see. I haven't seen her hair like that in so long. I've never seen her hair any other way. Believe it or not. Dude, this guy is saving out the ass. Alright, finally failed. We'll bring the Minotaur in. We'll probably jump on the Cleric with him. Let's see. Either the Cleric or the Archer... Probably the cleric, right? That should be good. This will aggro. Wait, what? He just gets to go? I've never had that happen. I always get seen here. That's crazy. Get in, get in. I should have snuck in. Okay, Hunter's Mark there. Quit hitting my bowl. Prone him. I really want to try to do that without, uh, do this fight without bringing Glut in. But we'll at least run him down here. Or you know what, we can uh, we can at least use them for momentum at the beginning of the fight. Oh, he can crouch. Oh, never mind. He got seen. And I I use I press C to crouch as immediately as I entered combat, so he lost his action there. We'll just run him back. Unfortunate. Probably jump on the archer. We have Boal's blessing. We'll probably save that. We'll save the last rate for someone with more health. Gex over here. So at worst, he casts a spell on one of us this turn. This next turn. First playthrough, I think I died at least ten times to the Dwergars. I think this is one of the first really difficult fights that people don't see coming. Yeah, that's what I, I treat it with respect. That's why I always shoot these ladders out. 
I recently joined the Minthara boat. Welcome, dude. She's best. Okay, was that blind? Yep, I'm blind. He's invisible, but I can see where he's at. He's right there. We can throw a Molotov. Finish you off, hopefully. Missed. We'll, uh... We'll give him attack of opportunity. So these these clerics don't hit for a whole lot. I think. Unless they crit for eight. Then we'll try to prone here. Okay. It's very very important I keep this guy prone. Still breathing. Since he heals. Everything. Um throw this. Set him on fire. Reveal the invis. Would we'll probably concentrate on Shield of Faith. Oh, I forgot about his counter spells. Okay. Okay, we run. Uh, run up. That way, worst case scenario, we just bail. But I, I am very. People who've watched me know I'm very allergic to running from fights. Hey, what's up, Winwino? Uh, Pally's doing good so far. Ow, that's some damage. Pally's doing good so far, man. Hopefully it stays that way. This, I mean, this is the night where we have a lot of fights. Last session, we just got to level 4. This session, we do some fights. How you doing, man? Blindness. Nice. Got dash, that's huge. Oh, he cast on Glut? Okay. Awkward. I can't. Oh, this is bad. I think, I guess I just have to hit this guy. Well, this hits both of them. Perfect. Awesome. We got the Cleric, and we uh, got the Resurrection on the Corpse. We're not in melee attack range. And he use the... So the res is a reaction. So I can run right next to him and not get attack of opportunity. Is that the play? Probably. That's probably the play. Let's do this. Damn. Okay. Stay on my feet. I'm gonna try dominating one of these undead when they get up here. Um, I really feel like I have to use my action on killing this guy. Miss. Run away. Move him up just a little bit. These undead are starting to get close. And my Minotaur is about... My Minotaur might die this round. This guy's all about this blindness. Nice. Still alive. That's huge. Please kill. Got the kill. I can't jump through that fire, so we'll probably probably run him back for a second. Okay. Nothing important is ever easy. Get to here. Forty percent control on dead. Really? So wisdom saving their wisdom six, and they just have a forty percent chance to resist it, or six percent chance to resist. That doesn't seem great, but yeah, this is where like that acuity comes in. Okay. 
Could just shoot this guy. Let's prepare for next round. I haven't used a ton of Falar Louvre, so I'm going to be kind of testing the waters out with how that thunder pro that thunder damage. I'm still not concentrating on anything. He'll probably counterspell me if I try to do anything. Could just get this counterspell out. Oh, I'm blinded. You're not a champion because you never get knocked down. You're a champion because you get back up. Thanks, man. Appreciate you. Also, having a Melum spell slot amulet is huge for paladies. Oh, okay. I'll check him out. There goes my Minotaur. That really sucks. <laughs> Critical miss. Could be in trouble. So much okay, we're gonna open with this. Either way, I, I get at least one kill. I'm gonna do damage to myself, I think. But I want to hit all of them. Let's see if they if it procs the thunder damage. It does. That's really nice. I'm invisible. Still shrieking. Okay. I think we'll let Glut take one round of tanking. Uh oh, these guys are coming up. We actually might have to bail. I've considered taking out that rope ladder as well. But usually it works out because it takes them so long to run around. Okay, we just AoE them down, I guess. Might as well, it does like pretty good damage. Let's use Glut to attack. Nice, we got that reaction. AOE damage, right? Okay. We're not taking too much damage. Control and Dead is so dope, you get a new friend until the next long rest. Yeah, that's a really shitty save chance on my part. Makes it not worth it. Can he counterspell my reaction? It's probably not used, not worth doing Hellish Rebuke. Can't use why polymorphed, okay. Nah, that's fine. Okay, we'll use Glut to hopefully yep, finish that, run back. I might have to actually buy some Molotovs this run. Throwing them out like candy. Oh, I'm in this. This is a much better playthrough to have that Dark Urge Cloak, I think. Way more so than the Throw Barbarian. That barbarian's way down there. 
probably open with a big smite. I'd like to Hunter's Mark, but then I don't have this huge advantage on the attack. And we have one more turn of Shrieking. And then ask if I wanted to smite. Why didn't it ask if I wanted to smite? That's weird. We'll we'll apply the hunter's mark next round. Top off this round. Shoot, we might might have to get out of here. Flower Shriek adds damage to pretty much everything still. That's so big. Because they, they really nerfed all the damage riders, right? So it makes me really, really happy to know that Flower still stacks that stuff. Alright, now I'm going to start <laughs> looking at my scrolls. Because we're a little bit in trouble. I think, see, I don't know if he still has counter spells up or not. We'll try this. Okay, you didn't counterspell that. Now we'll try this. Didn't counterspell that either. Maybe, maybe he's out. Run away! The power of running away in this game is just huge. Sorry about repeating it. Don't get the rapture buff. Yeah, thank you. I messed that up. So, so you get it from Spa? I thought for some reason I thought you got it from Glut after killing the Dwergar. So how did you not get it on your playthrough, Zazera? Do I have an invis spot? I don't. Because part of me wants to try Control and Dead, but if it fails, which it has a really good chance of failing, then I just lose a round and possibly die. Let's try this. Vamp Touch is huge. Okay, we at least got a concentration on it, which is nice. I think I heal. Holy Water is 3d6 damage. It's better than most weapon attacks at this point. Dude, I, I sold it off stream because I'm like, holy water is shit. <laughs> but uh, you're right, it probably would have come in handy here. Thank god he missed that. Hitting, getting hit with Ray of Sickness and then being poisoned sucks so bad. Okay. Try it again. Hell yes. Okay. That's what we need. We're gonna catch jump just in case we get in a robot. But this vamp touch should uh, be able to sustain us pretty good. Finish him off. Get Cole probably run up this time. Still doing that bullshit. This is why I wanted to make a Necromancer so bad. Like the sustain from it, I could see be really fun. Um, but there's no there's no good items for Necros. Until Act 3. Uh, sorry, I'm falling behind. 
Isn't Rapture the Act 3? Yeah, the Bliss Spores is what he meant. Yeah. Haven't talked. Yes, saving them for Zathisk. I failed the Zathisk on my last run. Um, Glut's getting low. I can't. I can't let him die. I'm invisible. Ah, uh, fuck. I wish I could make use of this invisibility and like go over and mess him up. But unfortunately, we need to take down this undead. Actually, I'll uh, I'll shove him. Dang it. Nah, shoot. Because, uh... He's 18 health left. Do I risk it and just jump away now? He has been... Get Cole's been focusing me. We should be okay like this, but, uh, man, it's getting dicey. Oh, good, he attacked me anyway. Okay, see ya. Okay, I'm invisible. We'll go get surprise on... Or, not surprise, but... A big advantage hit on him next time. We'll just run... Glut out. Dashed? What are you insane? Oh, because he doesn't see me. I haven't talked to Spa yet. I think it's the reward for telling Spa that I killed the Dwergar. Oh, okay. Got the Ethel hair through Susser's weapon. She can't even use her legendary. So her fights to get the hair is easy. Oh. Shall you just keep stabbing her with Susser and she can't do anything? Is that what you're saying, Will Fraser? Maybe I do that. Should have opened with Vamp. Probably did more damage. Run away! Why is it not asking me if I want to smite? I still have a smite spell slot left. On my way. Not enough movement, you're kidding me. What the heck? Probably failed that there. We probably should have jumped. I didn't realize I would be out of movement speed just getting to him. Oh, I'm getting up from prone, maybe? Maybe that's what that was. Okay, we can get to him. See how much fun this build would be with uh, Necro Touch? Man. Great sword? Okay. Getting kind of lucky with these hits. I'm less than 50% chance. Science lasts two turns. When you're level five with two attacks. Okay. Dang. Well, thank you, man. That might be the play. Not a long fight. We'll just rebuke. I don't know where this guy's at at this point. The Barbarian. Okay, I lost Necro, so hopefully I can finish him off with my sword. Yeah. 
Howie. Okay, he's at the... Oh! Oh shit, he's coming after Glut. I'll have to run Glut over here. Try me. Okay. I'm actually just gonna try to... Can I just flee? I can flee. Oh, okay. And then that Barbarian's and Vizpot should wear off and we, should, we can go kill him. Oh, he's got another vamp touch. Perfect. Come, we must speak. No thanks. I'm out of spell slots again. We'll go resurrect a hook whore to kill the barbarian. Brother Muzone, what's up, dude? How you doing? Good to see ya. Is this the master of gifts, Brother Muzone? Glad you made it, man. Okay, so this guy's in Viz should have worn off. Where's he at? One thing I've wanted to try is a playthrough where I resurrect Lurgan, because um, he can use his spells. But I think he has to have not used them in combat. So it'd be, it'd be one of the playthroughs where you like insta-kill him to make the best use of him. not know where this uh, barbarian went. Yeah. Yeah, he can resurrect Dwergar too. It's kind of nice. He's here. Hey, he's literally standing right here. Gabriello, what's up? I am online. Uh, it's been a very long time since I streamed uh, two days apart. Usually it's like once a week, but I'm here. I found my window. I asked my wife, like, what are we doing tonight? She's like, I'm just going to go take a nap. I'm like, all oh, perfect. Dwergar is one of the best fights in the game. Yeah, no, this this is a very satisfying fight. Where is my hook? Work? Very, very satisfying fight. Anyone else there lose permabuffs when changing appearance? Hmm. Not I. Well, I can't fight this guy. Like, maybe I can open with a Molotov, but he's saving every time. He's Dwergar, their invis does not wear off. But, yeah, but I, he's like saving against me seeing him. I should be able to see him at some point, right? When he fails a roll. Get a PS5 to play with your wife, couch co-op. Dude, I love that, but... Dude, she, she fucking catfished me. Her dating profile is like, Girl gamer. I'm like, oh shit, for real? She doesn't play any games, dude. She used to. She used to play, like, League of Legends, but... Anymore, she does other stuff. Love her to death, though. Okay, so I think we... Oh, okay. So me just... Pr me crouching triggered combat. Weird. Okay, we'll open with pounce. Please get it. Dang. Target must be prone. You can't be missing like that, man. Hopefully lacerate hits. Nice.
That's all he did. Need to quit saving, man. Wouldn't well, it be some shit if he, like, finagles a way to shove me into this? And just insta-kill me? Okay, we got him to half before he raged. That's ideal. He's focusing the hook horror. That's also ideal. I'll try to prone him. Dang it. attack me this round? No. Oh. Does some damn though. Can't even catch my breath. There it is. Dang it. Wonder if it's worth uh, reviving this guy if he has rage charges left. Like that would be an insanely good tank for like the bullet, right? Just mitigating all of his damage. Not over, then through. Do a little loot scoop. Cast guidance on yourself, that was a good idea. To try to see him. I'm not about stream delay, it's kind of annoying. Not seeing stuff till later. Uh, might be useful. Alright, now what? We've already done Bual. So we've done the Dwergar, we've done the Hook Horrors. I don't want to do the bullet fight yet. I feel like just like one unlucky turn could get me one shot. Not... We could just go... do uh, the Arcane Tower without fighting Bernard. Are you using the King Arthur sir sword? Yes, I am. Falar Louvre. And like an idiot, I sold it last time. Last session. And so I had to buy it back. <laughs> this session for 600 gold. Y'all know you can force 1v1 with the Gith Inquisitor? Don't open the door. Break it, then damage the Gith from outside. Killing everyone inside. Oh, yeah. Nice. Now, I did not know that. There's stuff like that uh, for Orin as well, but yeah, a phone call from my brother. He'll have to wait. Half the Drow's body is crushed. Must have fallen from pretty high up. You're dual wielding? No. Got me a shield. Dual wield would be kind of cool. Ooh, that's actually a good idea. What if you were to do like a uh, dual wield crit focus build? So you have that crit dagger in your offhand, and then you just do like insane smites. Hopefully, crit smites with your main hand. That'd be fun. Fuck me. Oh, come on. There may be no spore. Okay. Leave. Okay. And don't get yourself killed.
Just stands at the gate? Nice. That's smart. So that's probably one of the favorite... Uh, one of the uh, best things about this game is... Did I just tell him to leave? Eliminate. Go away. Come. It's one of the best things about this game is like all the different ways you can cheese stuff. Or just like all the different ways you can handle encounters. Not necessarily cheese. Okay, we'll jump. Pick up our blooms. Enter turn based. Why are you going? It's turn based. Probably keep some throwing weapons on you, even without Tavern Brawler, they are a good range option. Okay. Could just get the returning pike or something, just as a... Although then that might screw me if I don't want it in my main hand. Well for me. Greetings from Brazil! Love your content. Hey, what's up, dude? Thanks for stopping by. I'm glad you like it, man. It's crazy how many people around the world watch. We're gonna dagger in build. Hell yeah. Does she actually have a build like that? I'll have to look into it. Dude, I swear my wife turns the thermostat up way too high. Last time I looked, it was like 74 degrees. Just sweating my ass off. Let's see. <clears throat> mm, no guidance. <laughs> I gotta put these flowers over here so I can guidance. Where did I find a key? Let's check. No. Come on, open up. She made a video on dagger paladins? That's awesome. I love those kinds of builds that are just completely outside of the box. Zalzir, what kind of uh, Paladin playthroughs have you done? Have you done like a Sorkadin or a Bardadin by chance? Because you the pal the thing you made the videos with that was a pure Paladin, right? is for Omelum. Now I can finish that quest. I've done padlock. Oh, yeah, right, yeah. Okay. Okay.
Yeah, part of me feels like the versatility from Sorkinen will probably keep me alive easier. But then again, like if I play well, the, just the insane burst from Bardadin could serve me well too, so I don't know, man. I'll, I'll literally just have to look at the wiki and come up with something after this. Guys, so G. She reminds me so much of the YouTuber Modest Pelican. I haven't heard of him. She must have been inspired by his channel. Nice. Go Pally Wizard. Ooh, shit. I mean, I guess you could. Like, some, some of the Pally builds, you only need, like, two in Pally. So that... Oh, I need to take this with, don't I? You only need like two in Pally, and then uh, you can go whatever else, just because the two from Pally gives you the smites. So you could go Abjurer, and just take no damage and then spine out your ass. That'd be fun. Just using the cipher you found the skin, but all like. Are these good Yankee markets? They sell my friend. I don't know exactly which notes give me the dialogue options, so I read all of them. Oh, I didn't get the collar yet for the free meat. That's okay. I love Abjur. Dude, um, when I died on my bar Barbarian, I was so close to rolling like a one white dragon sork and 11 Abjur and just making Orin kill herself on me. You know these words. They're from the opening stanza of a play you found in this very tower. Oh shit. Did I not get the... I don't have all the dialogue options I usually do. I might have messed up. Oh, thank God. I didn't read the right ones. But I know this one's safe. Okay. I don't think he drops off the ring with that dialogue. Let me read everything. See if I have other options. Not these, right? Here it is. Got it. Put the Susser Blooms here to shut down the ads. And we'll come back later. Find it difficult to cast a melee with one character because the spacing is different? Yeah. I just really like Quicken spell with a sorcerer. There's a lot you can do with it. Okay, put on a ring. Where is it? Oh Jesus, dude, I'm blind. What the hell? Now we've got a blessed staff. 
So we just got three different items that are really going to help our hit chance. We have Falar Louv, we've got um, the Whispering Promise Ring, and now we'll have the Blessed Staff. Depends if Smiting gives Arcane Ward or not, I'm going to guess not. That'd be insane though. Okay, we'll go straight to Omelum from here. Forgot the ring dialogue, yeah. Swords of Bard didn't spikes at level 8. Six swords to Pally for slashing flourish. Yeah, I was I was almost considering just respecking straight to Paladin or straight to Bard now. But I'm Oathbreaker, so I can't. We'll just be a paladin. I feel like Sorkadin spikes around 10. Yeah, okay. I need a quick word. That's probably true. I greet you, child of the sun. Here's a mushroom. Eat, you must drink. The world loses its edges, its finer boundaries. You are fluid. But trapped like a creature dark of fear pierces your mind like knives of ice. The parasite digs deeper, as if it means to hollow out your skull. Ooh. Can you die here? Does anyone know if you can you die in this interaction? Oh, that lava such an outcome. I would to offer it. And I must admit, a fascinating topic indeed. What can you tell me? Got a plus one from having Falar aloof. Ring of mind shielding. Advantage on saving throws against charmed. So that makes me a little more eager to fight the harpies at least. Okay. Welcome back. I do enjoy a good bargain. If anything in my private collection is to your liking. Okay. Okay, we'll sell and probably go back up to the surface, I guess. Still kind of far from five. Do you want? Do you guys want to see me try to kite the gate the Yankee Patrol into Walking's Rest again? Because I'm really excited to do that. Okay. Oh, I'm backed up. Hold up. Mel Balin's dead. I've got to get myself moving. No point in Staff of Blessing is so much better than I thought. My first playthrough. Oh yeah, it's insane. Bonus D8 spell save. Yeah, it's it's nutty, man. Yeah, but you probably need Daredevil glo gloves, and then you lose out on AC. True. True. But then, uh, at the same time, you'd have haste and... Because um, Bard doesn't give proficiency on constitution saving throws, right? That's part of why I like Sorkadin, is you have proficiency on not getting haste knocked off. Because that's, that's like, that can be a death sentence on a solo playthrough, right? And I'll probably be using haste on this. So, I don't... Man, I don't know. You get in the club? Oh, shit. Shit, that's the play. Thank you. Let's go get it. That's probably the play for right now. Whoops. Okay. Yeah, thanks. I always forget about that club for some reason. And that this will give me an excuse to go pick up my Susser Blooms as well. Club of Giant Strength from the chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, guys. Is this Act 1? Yes, it is. Never been to the Arcane Tower? It's a fun place to be. It can be a tough fight, though, if you mess it up. 
Oath break respects are difficult, by the way. You have to pay that guy more for every oath. Yeah. That's why I was saying we may just, like, be paladin for a while. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I know a lot of people might get frustrated because they want me to be more meticulous or something. Um, I really enjoy just kind of running through without a concrete plan and figuring it out. That's fun to me. I probably get killed more often because of that, but it's to me that's what keeps me coming back. I'd probably get burnt out if I just planned everything out and was like really rigid with how I did stuff. This makes it fun. Yeah, it's probably... P oh, but then again, I can't respect anyway. So I get, I get a plus one. Maybe we just keep this on hand, and then when uh, Sh Flora Louvre's, like, Shriek is down, or Melody is down, we can switch to the club. Either way, we have it. Yo, what's up, man? What's up, Fenric? Just lost my paladin run. No way to Garengoth. Forgot about her ability and to kill you with gold, dude. It's it's seared in my memory. I'm so sorry to hear that, but I mean that's happened to me too, man. It's seared in my memory now. Whenever I get in the toll house, I immediately just stop. I, I I like stop reading chat, stop doing anything, and I immediately go into my inventory and send the gold to camp. It's it's what a bullshit ability, huh? But sorry to hear that, man. Apparently you only get days poison. I have returned! What's up, Morgana? Evelyn? I did mod savage attacks to all races because I can't play orcs. Ah. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm trying to play uh, every race, but I haven't gotten to the smaller ones. Quite yet. Oh, man. I just don't feel good about... Here's the problem. Fighting the bullet is I have to go melee on my paladin. And he could just turn and blast me. Let's let's go up top, see what we can do. Okay, we're fully rested. Let's go let's go. Let's go try Flind. God damn it. This part's about to get nasty. Two Sorcerer gives you shield and infinite smites. Act 2 and 3. Okay. Just try to deal with the Gith Patrol after already having... Oh yeah, let's do that first. That might that might actually be easier than these gnolls. But I guess it doesn't matter. We'll do both before level 5. But this is at least fun and they've got good gear. Easy to forget the club, yeah. Try to deal with the Gith Patrol after already having gotten to the crash. They weren't there. Yeah. Yeah, if you go to the crash, they uh, disappear. You gotta do their encounter first. He has a lot of risks. Yeah, that's why I wanted uh, proficiency with concentration. Yeah. Hmm. Not sure if haste is worth it. Really? Okay. I feel like pressing, passing the Zethus plus Mine Sanctuary is 100% better than Sork Haste. Uh, yeah, you might be right. You're probably right. The on-the-fly thinking is at least a 76% better viewing experience. Science fact? I'm glad you guys like it. I, to me, it's fun. And I feel like I'm mechanically kind of quick. I, I don't want to, like, bore people. 
What are you doing? I'm gonna, I doubt nobody. So you could just way. kill her, right? Like, she has no That's point. No. Oh, quick. Facing that lot would be suicide. At least for now. I think if you have Paladin Aura, it's not that bad. I like to put Shield of Faith on when I'm hasted, so at least if melee characters break haste, they can get stunned. Yeah, he means thralls. Um, I don't run that risky solo. Okay. Want to fight the bullet at all? Guy can one-shot you on a crit? Yeah, he definitely can. It's like a tax hit for eight, like 40. So, like, if he crits me, I just die. I think it was for 40. Okay, how do we do this? Cast jump. Do we need a mirror image? Let's see if we can shoot from, like, here, maybe. Is it possible? Yeah, that might work. Okay, we'll cast jump. We'll crouch. Turn base. Ooh. That looks like Beretha. That'd probably be an easy... Or not. No, I had to move up too much. Ah! Damn it. There. I hit. There, there. Okay. Are they surprised? They are. So I can't get too far away. Let's go here. Run up here. Take a surprise round. Command drop. Oh man, I'm not balls enough for that. I, I'd probably go for it if I was Gith. To be honest. Okay. Let's go like here. Can't get too far. This should be good. Thralls are so OP. I need to use it more. There's so many encounters I just like don't use it. Uh, by the way, you still have a good shot of getting the sword, the astral plane with heat metal. It's base 30%. That's all right. I, I, I wanted one hand anyway. I'm not looking to two hand on this build. We'll see how it goes. But if I was two handing, I might go for it. Act one is so funny on an honor playthrough, especially solo. The whole act begs you to do fights before level five, which is so often just straight suicide. 100%. Okay. So one's invisible. It's probably Bretha. Yep. So I didn't hardly get anywhere. We'll just go around here. Okay. I don't think anyone cares what you do, just have fun. Yeah, dude, I'm so self-conscious. Sucks. <clears throat> haste potions are fine. I like, yeah, I like haste potions. There's some things that happened last playthrough that uh, canceled a haste potion, though. I don't know how. Um, but, like, ha like, haste itself, the spell is a concentration. Haste potion just wears off after three rounds. Um, but there's things knocking it off early. And I haven't quite rectified that. Okay. Do a jump. Hopefully this isn't too far. Find it fun to just YOLO. Same. Hate using haste as well. It just sucks so bad when you lose it. Helm of Automaton. I already have... Um, proficiency on wisdom saves as a paladin so it's useful or it's useless on me speed pots are way safer practically no risk if you have sanctuary you guys are making a really really good argument to dip into cleric oh no he's doing the thing Using haste is a 100% chance to cast another concentration spell down the line. True. And died stupidly. Yeah. Dude, I, I, I wish um, my Battlemaster finale playthrough, the Elder Brain fight, or like the fight right before you get to the actual Nether Brain, um, 
it was like the biggest fumble I've ever done. I, I was concentrating on, what was it? I was concentrating on haste, I think, and then I casted Globe of Invulnerability. So then I became lethargic from haste. I'm like, what happened? And then I did it twice. I did it twice and still somehow lived and, like, beat the game. But got incredibly lucky. Okay. Well, um, we go, go in here. Maybe. Yeah. Nah, dude, that was like a little siege. Dude, this is perfect. This is like front row seating. Hell yeah. Let's watch how it plays out. <laughs> Galaxy Brain Strat. I'm so glad I thought of this. This makes... Because the, the patrol is always just a clencher, right? Now I just have these guys do it for me. The sword, OP, the silver sword of the astral plane is very over overpowered. Like, if you're Gith Yankee, um, you, you, you want to try to get that in Act 1, if possible. Like, like, you literally won't replace it until later in Act 3. And even that's a maybe. Is the Paladin good? Yeah. Paladin is very strong. It's part of why I haven't been playing it, because I wanted to try tougher classes, but I keep dying on honor mode, so... <laughs> Every time I die, I play like something that's probably like a little easier. Although Barbarian... Uh, Throw Barbarian was very strong and just kind of boring for me. If you use a Haste Spore or Mind Sanctuary with a Speed Pot, it overrides and lethargics you. I was wondering about that. It's good to know. Okay. So how are we doing? These guys are probably going to go down. Gauntlet Yiva is super good. We'll, we'll see how this plays out. We might... I don't know. They should be able to pull it off, right? We'll see. Planned in soccer... Uh, Piled in sorcerer? That's pretty good. Street Fighter isn't bad either. I, I, I think uh, Battlemaster is probably my favorite class in the game. Period. And, and I, I wouldn't call it like the strongest, but I would it, definitely my favorite to play. I had haste up on Harpy Fight, and I cast Hunter's Mark and died. No, dude, that Harpy Fight is nasty, man. I've died there too. Can you save the woman counselor while the battle goes on? Probably, but I don't want to, like, take fire damage. Is she, like, burning to death now? <laughs> I hear her yelling. She's probably okay. She's not... Oh. Yeah, she's full health. <laughs> we'll, we'll tell her to just wait a second. Ooh, they got held. If you're going to one-hand dual wielding is very interesting... All X and gives you. All right, hold on one sec. Oh, Yeva's. Oh, Yeva's the ones that that's held. So he's almost dead. Raider's almost dead. So if they can take them two out, then we'll just have Sarth and Chost. I'm just gonna let him have at it. Can you kill with bombs for sure. If you're going to have a one-hand dual wielding is very interesting. All axe and gives you one AC as well. Right. That's a very big perk of dual wielding. Because it, it gives you all like the bonuses and then the AC as well. Sword of First Blood, Flower Louvre, Mountain King. I might help them out. We'll see. Breath is getting close too and she shreds. Why are you giving them free attacks? Give that sword far too late. Yeah. Well, yeah, because you get it at the end, right? It's kind of silly. Try that bleed build. I do. I am interested. Okay, we're going in. I think. Uh, I think. I think they might be in trouble. 
Hopefully this is close enough. Yeah. Missed. Maybe I should have helped him a little more. Damn, they all go. I'm held. Oh my god. Please break out. Saving throw, DC 16. I rolled a 5. Breath is getting close. Uh oh. Dude, you gotta do more. Did I. I failed save? Dude, they're so close. Oh, dude, they're gonna go after me. Uh, do I just die here? Miss. Miss. Succeeded saving throw. But that was my turn. So now we hope we just don't die here. I don't have a. Uh, oh, I can missile stuff. Uh, I don't have Invispot. I've already used my jump. Maybe I have an invis roll. We'll see. What? She just astral stepped. She's right there. Part of me wants to just throw a Molotov. I'm using Molotov's like candy this playthrough. Probably hate spot too. This is this is really bad since uh breath is here. I don't have any hate spots. Dang. Hmm. Okay. We shall so that's sixty five percent chance to hit. I can't risk that. Actually, we'll probably secure this kill in the back. If I can Yeah, that'll be good. Where is she again? Right there. I think that's technically cheating me <laughs> me seeing where she's at, but Oh that that the collision, like she intercepted that throw. Rip. Okay, I think... We're boxing ourselves in here if we do this. I got an idea though. You have the cape, true. Any scrolls? Yeah, let's see what, for right now, let's see what scrolls we have. So we got a bunch out here. We'll put them on here. We got darkness, that's huge. Dimension doors. We got a flying potion. I'll pro I'm, I'm thinking about drinking that. We do have an invis scroll. Misty steps. Oh, I probably could have just magic missiled. That would have been the play. Whoops. Okay. Blur might be the play against Beretha, but dude, she like goes four times in one turn. We'll see. I almost want to like kill who I can and then like run. Although that probably resets them, right? I probably won't have a chance to fight Beretha or this guy later. This just got interesting. Take him to the Zents. See. <clears throat> What happens if you go... Oh my god, she's on me already? Okay. Can't help you right now, sorry. You can see me? Dude, no way! Ow.
Okay. She's going way around. Oh, dude. Easy day. Okay. Magic missile. Hit the one with zero hit points or one hit point. Ooh, I can't quite get there. Hold up. We should be able to bounce here. And then we should be able to bounce back without Beretha getting to us. Caspo. There we go. Okay, we'll get two kills this turn and we'll start whittling down this one. <clears throat> Probably top off. Do I have a big potion? I do. This warrants it. We'll get us close to the edge. She'll probably get up to like around here, I would guess. Oh yeah, I'm invisible. Nice. Oh no, it's gonna drop a comet though. No 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 no. Oh good, good. Okay. Okay, we'll fly here. Sorry, I'm ignoring chat right now. I'm really focused. Might try to blind Beretha if we get a chance. See, see what our chance to hit is with Rays. 70%? Not bad. That could be the play. Oh, I want to shriek so bad, though. I wish I had a haze pot. I'd love to, sh right now, I'd love to shriek and then blat him with uh, Scorching Rays. I'll try this. Okay, we missed one of them. And she didn't move, did she? She's still right there. So we'll uh, go hug this corner, I think. Eight turns on fly. We're looking good. Just because I'm scared I'm topping. Uh, we'll push it. I like pushing it to the limit. Okay, perfect. He's up here with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on up. Come on up. She didn't get far at all. I don't like my hit chance. I think we eat oil of accuracy. Why is it still 70? Wasn't it 70 before? Fifteen percent chance to land a blind. I can't. I can't do that. That won't work. Probably just do whatever damage you can with the lightning bolt. Rave sickness is good too, but single use, unfortunately.
Now, here's where we pray that she tries to run back down and doesn't jump through a window. I would as I would doubt she would be coded that well to jump down here, but we'll see. I wouldn't even be mad if I died at that. I'd be impressed by Larian. Yeah, she goes running back down. Okay, five turns on. Fly. We're going to cast Blur. Okay. And we'll bless up, probably. Man, I really wish I had a haze pot so bad. She's there. We'll go like here. Okay. So do we throw a bomb? Do we throw some spiders? Do we just ping with whatever spells we've got? Ooh, Cloud of Daggers. I could easily cheese this, actually. I could just Cloud of Daggers the doorway and just ping, keep ping-ponging her. But that'd probably be boring. Um, ooh, I, I have slow, too. But I'm concentrating on blur is the thing. And I really want that. I want her to have disadvantage against 20 AC. That's huge. Her hit chance really isn't great. Her hit chance is actually kind of low. Um, it's just she attacks so much every turn. I think I think this ladder... It costs less movement to go down the ladder and then fly here than it would be to fly directly down, right? I think. What's up, Zazat? We're about to duel Beretha. How you doing, man? Okay. Part of me wants, wants to go smack her, too. I'm blessed up. Hold on. Ooh. I've never used this. Affected entity has disadvantage on strength and dex checks and attack rolls against it have advantage. Ooh, that's tempting. Do we just Hunter's Mark? No, that's Concentration. <sighs> Sorry, bear with me. Maybe we just throw a grenade and call it a day, huh? Could just glyph her, too. That's probably going to do more damage. Let's make a decision. I've got two smites left. She's 56 health. I need to whittle her down a little bit more. For sure. Go like here. Throw a grenade. Nine damage. Okay, we'll take it. Three turns on fly. I really gotta start doing something. We'll, we'll take one more free turn of chip damage. Let's bless up now. One more free turn of chip damage and then we actually have to fight her. Hit for more than nine, man. Six, and then I hit myself? You gotta be shitting me. Um, two more turns on... Okay, so... Next turn, we come down for real. 
She's at 50% health. If I lose this, I mean, I did what I could, man. <laughs> okay. We'll, um... That's only half my movement speed. Maybe we'll try this. Okay. We got one one more free throw damage. And away I go. How do I have so many bombs? How do I have three? Okay, this is it. Top off. There's the heal. What's our oil of accuracy at? It's probably off, right? Three turns. Okay. I, I think I think we do what we can. I hope that fire doesn't knock off Blur. We're good. Open with the lacerate. She parries though. Oh man. Dang it. That parry is so annoying. Nice. Here comes the million attacks. Okay, three attacks that time. Here we go. Critical hit. So 20 HP. Blur wears off in three turns. I got a... One turn. Bless up next turn, in case we get hit. Okay, we didn't get hit, but we lost Bless, so we'll... Potion up. Why does it tell me 60 now? Is it, is it worth it? Oh. Should we get Shriek up now? Oh, 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 shit. We lost our oil. That's what that is. Let's take, let's take one turn. I think we either Shriek or bl uh, Bless. I think we probably Shriek. It's coming down the wire. But that's a thing. Because with... Yeah, this is... Okay. Okay. B um, oil. Okay, now we're at 70 and we're shrieking. She parried all of it? I, I, uh, that's not, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're probably gonna vamp touch next turn. Unless she, oh, okay. Okay, so we're no longer blurred. 25%. Oh. God damn it, she's tough, dude. It's actually insane how t how hard she is solo. Um. One hit point left. Yeah, her hit chance is very bad. 
I'm not even blurred this time, she still can't hit me. Is this like auto hit? Let's try this. I I've never used this. Okay, so she parries it. Okay. Jesus Christ! Burning hands? Burning hands? I don't have burning hands? This has to do it, right? This has to do it. Okay. Fuck, dude. She hit me once! She hit me once and almost killed me. I'm sorry, guys. I missed so much chat, too, during that fight. <laughs> Where do you even find crafting recipes? Um, you just pick up the flowers you and craft stuff with them. Okay, let's... I guess let's go save these folk. I have no short rest now. Is he dead? He's still alive. Cool. I think this blows open. Have to keep oh. going. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'm actually, dude. I is Paladin not as strong as I thought? I feel kind of gim, to be honest with you. Maybe I was just so spoiled by the throw barbarian. That's probably what it is. <laughs> Strength. No, not that. Fire! Hurry! Get this thing off me! Get to safety. I should have uh, prepped way better and equipped a bludgeoning. This is uh, not optimal what I'm doing. At least I'm not burning. Okay. Okay. Never doubted. I lie. I doubted. That was a fun one. You should have stayed. If I could. Okay. Hey, uh, sorry. All your guys are dead. <laughs> Just got attacked by these Gith Yankees. It's really weird. Okay. Finish with that in a bit. Um, and may I truck by the time this was no I fear I um probably sparky points just in case I decide to throw something okay and we'll long rest <laughs> you're a level four fighting gith at level six true yeah, I, d I, d I sort of did pick that fight, huh? It's not that strong in the beginning. Okay. Warlock might be better early. Like a blade lock? Because I tried the caster and that was hard. Oh, okay. See, I always wondered if like the gear burn. I thought it was like maybe a secret that the gear burns up if you don't get to it before everything else burns up. Well, cool, that made me uh, quite a bit richer just from all these dead guys. That's a good sword, but I'm not doing two handed. So. Okay. 
Cool, that feels good. Fair build on all times for vanilla gameplay is bow bard. It's fun. Do you did you do like hand crossbows or did you do like Titan string or what? Really wanted to do whoops, where'd it go? Really want to do a Warlock Sork Blaster build. It's fun. Um, and it's fun to do with Abjur or Wizard. So you can go, what is it, like two? You go two Warlock, great old one, so that your um, Eldritch Blast, when it crits, it fears people. And then you go the rest Abjur. And you're just a walking tank with armor of Agathus. And then your uh, Cantrip, Eldritch Blast, does a ton of damage, especially when you get Potent Rope in Act 2. So that's a very fun build. Oh, there's a guy up here. Cool. Okay, these barrels never have anything into them, so just dig up the thing here. Throwing Paladin. I want to try an Eldritch Knight at some point. I think it'd be fun. Paladin is very starred on spells, and that hurts a lot of your damage potential. That's why I was thinking about Sorkadin, man. Looks like there's a chest buried in that hay. Um, we need to save the guys at the Flynn first. And that is going to be another dicey one, so... Ow. Oh. I'm going to go pee real quick. Oh, there's gnolls over there. Hold on. I'll be right back. Okie dokie. Blade lock, of course, yeah, for sure. I figured. How'd you do a blade lock? Just pack to the blade. If you're not multi-classing, um, you really just build them like a marshal, um, but with clothing. Someone else can help me out here. It's been a long time since I did one. Blade, Blade Lock was my first playthrough. Yeah, Titan String. Okay, yeah. That's probably what I would do. If I went for that build. Right through these people. Kind of want to... 
blat this hyena before it runs off. Oh my god. Beautiful. Her darling pups will not be of her own species. Knolls bring forth their iniquitous litter from many corpsed wombs. Well, I'm in a really bad hyenas. predicament. I wasn't anticipating missing. You let it. Don't you dare run. Damn it. So we're, we're missing our action. I'd have to do this. Dang it, dude. To Warlock Al Abjurer. Yes! Yep. That's a very fun build, Zazira. I like builds that just are like, I don't care. <laughs> you're, you're not going to kill me. Okay, now we've got a problem. Like an actual problem. I think I need to run. It's really unfortunate I missed my uh, attack on the hyena. The reason I need to run is these um, archers... You can't, the arrows, the soul catching gloves, or the arrow catching gloves don't work on them. They do like a multi attack and it just doesn't matter. I guess we come from the other way. Or we just play across the bridge and kite. I don't know. Nah, I can't do it with all these guys aggroed. I'm just running. If an Eldritch Blast build, yeah, that's the... My favorite build of doing that is the 2 Warlock, 10 Abjurer. Eldritch Knight, 6-7, Rest Wizard is fun too. Okay. I haven't tried that. Try to kill one if we can. Hey, what's up, Never Forgotten? How you doing, man? Play more tabletop or BG3 these days? I would love to play more tabletop. If I could get all my friends together uh, for tabletop, I would love that. But we're all 35-year-old dudes with jobs and priorities, so <laughs> we do it maybe once every couple months, I think, is the average. Damn, you're in trouble tonight. Yeah, for sure. Just the two archers alone could end this run. Do we just like, abuse this and see how it goes? Should be hunters marking. Hopefully it can't hit me from there. Hopefully it has to run around. We'll see though. Do you want to cheese a little bit? These guys cannot cross the river. Are you referring to over here or this bridge? Do you not have the hunter short bow? I do. I just hit like a wet noodle. Could probably start a roll 20 discord pretty easily. What's that? Just like playing um, tabletop stuff with people online? I don't know why I've gone three rounds without applying Hunter's Mark. I, I, think I, I didn't think I was going to be here this long. That's what happened. If I can get them to all bunch up on this bridge here, I'll throw some AoE. Oh, you did it down by scratch? Oh, okay. Where are you going? This might be a snooze fest. I don't know if I should just run and reset or keep going. 
Think you can take me on? Both the archers are right there. So as long as they're not running down this way, I'll just stay here. He might jump across this round though. Okay, so now that guy's run down. Oh, what? How'd you get way down there? At least we're making progress towards 5. I think we'll see a pretty big difference once we hit level 5. Missed. Jeez. With as long as this fight's going to be, do we just oil of accuracy again? Whoops. I wasn't paying attention to that guy. I should have backed off. Well, AoE, AoE next turn. Hit a, ooh, someone just jumped over. Flesh an hour. Okay. He's trying to jump. It just failed. Oh, there it is. Okay. Please kill. Okay. We're in Viz. We got jump for three turns. Probably cut this way, huh? Oh, this this probably ends combat, actually, now that I think about it. Thunder arrows? Ooh, yeah, that'd be good. How many do I have? At least three. Yeah, uh, yeah, that ended combat. Let's, um... Maybe that was dumb. I just don't like running. I don't like how Invis drops combat. I really do think, like, unless you flee combat, they should just keep, like, looking for you or something. I don't know. But the fact that it drops combat is kind of annoying. Gonna path the couple onto the knolls. Wait, can you do that with? Uh, are you talking about a uh, Buther and Groco? I'll, I'll I will one hundred percent do that next time if you can do that. Cause that sounds like fun. Okay, my jump is gone. Damn, this guy's good. Nah. I just played this game way too much, man. You got me really curious now, Zalzera. Maybe, like, one of these runs, like, that's my goal. Like, see how many different conflicts I can route into each other. That'd be a lot of fun. Oh, this guy's still back here. Maybe we run up a melee. Yeah, let's do it. Seize the day. Damn it. You gotta be kidding me. As long as the archers don't jump across, I'm not too concerned. Please? Uh, 
I don't like that he only has two hit points left. We'll say no and hope to god we live. Probably do this. Um, one thing I've real oh, nah, I still know. One thing I've noticed is a lot of the time he'll pro probably still be able to hit me next turn, but this guy probably won't. A lot of the times it's better to take an attack of opportunity than whatever their primary action is on their turn. That's kind of what I've been starting to gather. Paladins don't attack Flind. I think I might have tried that as well. Now I think about it. <sighs> so now it's going to be the same annoying thing. We'll just stay in combat. Yes, right, I'm At least we drop combat with the other guys. But this this is a very awkward fight for me. I didn't mean for it to go this way. He uses all time because primary action is usually multi attack. Yeah, usually it's worse um, for the most part. Let's just fuck it. I'm over this fight. Start getting some null ears though for haste pots, which is huge. Yeah, I guess maybe we just go around. Oh, these guys are still here. I need to start opening with Hunter's Mark. I'm out of my element. I keep one of the things that uh, I'm not great at is. Go, is transitioning classes. Every new playthrough, I take a lot longer than I probably need to to adjust. I do love having high AC though. It's it's making me a lot more brazen. Cool. We'll get the hyena too. How did that miss? That had to be a one, right? Five. Wow. Could just shove him off. Okay. Yeah, a little awkward fight. That's right. Time to press ahead. Paladin have AOE options other than the specific sword? Um, I don't think so. I don't think they have a lot of AOE. They're mostly single target. So I need to... I, that's two hunters. They'll kill me. I need to go around. Have I been this way okay. before? Go this way. Still got the owlbear. We'll wait on that since it now summons a entire other Albear. Dev a single target burster, yeah. Hit chance, making things more complicated. I swear, man, that's like the theme of Act One. Act One is all about hit chance. Where am I? What? Oh. Get AoE by multiclassing into something like a cleric. Yeah, I'm not. I, I was torn between Sorkadin and Bardadin, and now I'm. Chat's got me considering dipping into cleric as well, so we'll see what happens. I'll take that. Okay. 
I wonder what it opens. But by then you're mostly a cleric with smites. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree. Cut it out. It's worse than nose out there. And these... Who, who's there? But we were lucky to... It's all I have. Need any supplies? Only fewer mouths to feed now. Mirror image, take that. Tempted to buy these alchemists. Probably do it. Actually, no, it will buy them from someone we have high disposition with. Okay. I'll loot these null ears. We'll probably kill Carlac. I'll feel that one later. Although we can't turn in her head Let's yet. Have a look. Or these guys disappear and I'm not ready to fight them. So I guess maybe we just go do the flint. We'll rest through the flint, pray. Cleric with smites is very strong? Okay. Why cleric don't paladins have almost all access? They don't have sanctuary. And sanctuary is insanely good in a solo playthrough. Sorg so you can get extra smites, but bard is also good. Uh, bard technically smites a lot harder. Um, with like flourishes and whatnot, it's it's really a tough call. I think both has have merit. I think um, Sork might have a little more flexibility, which includes survivability, and then Cleric obviously has really good survivability. And depending on what kind of Cleric you go, you might get um, some extra. Never wanted the easy path. Extra burst. Pocket. So you go like War Cleric and then use your bonus action to attack. You can go Tempest Cleric and then use Thundering Smite uh, for auto crits. It's kind of a tough call. I need to like succeed to check. It must be over here. On my way. Take Harlock to Bwals. I already have Bwals. It's right here, buddy. I've already done it. We're good to go. Light Cleric's one of the best nukers. It's it's good. It's very good. Okay, pray for me. Don't see me. Oh, he's on. He's damaged. Come on. There we go. Three, two, one, go. This is so stupid, but this is how I do it. The shock of you see your moles, see your whole world as a meal. This voice is acting as a leash, a memory. Buried as the symbol glows, power. Manner to devour the other nose. Nice, we got it. There was a time when I couldn't figure out how to get this. Have at it. I wonder if I can like kite her down into the other knolls. Like if I were to just keep running, because she comes to you afterwards after the fight, right? If she doesn't die. I love that she goes first too. Please don't blow me up. Nice. They use a single arrow instead of the multi-attack. That's huge. Why did it ask me to snare if it was a miss? Or maybe snare the acid damage? I don't know.
Probably been making a lot more use of arrows this run. Come get me. <clears throat> Is this Eldritch Knight? Nah, it's a uh, Paladin. Uh, straight Oathbreaker right now. Come help me. <laughs> Six Pally, five Bard, one Cleric. Tempest Cleric is the best single target nuker. I love having eye armor class, man. Where'd the other guy go? Probably run that way. Yeah, we'll run around, actually. I'm using the shit out of these oil of accuracies, man, because I have to. Or we could just bless up. Probably should have blessed up before the fight. Damn it, dude. That's it. So advantage there, no advantage there. I think I need to take one step forward. There we go. Damn, y'all are flying. Four Tempest Cleric would max all your damage. You can do 240 damage with a Sanctuary setup. Okay. Make her eat herself with a pass check. Yeah. I just want her to kill these guys for right now. Sanctuary set up Viz. Follow up. Oh, the acid was a miss. I snared the missile. Got it. That makes sense. Kill the Act 2 boss like that in two turns. Isn't very fair. Sounds fun. <laughs> okay, we'll bless up. Actually, we shouldn't need to. Let's just keep helping out. I probably didn't even need the oil of accuracy. Oh. This discussion is mostly why I liked Orkless single class restriction. Dude, true. It made it so simple. Like, nop. We're just going 12 Paladin or 12 Battlemaster, whatever it is. Dude, Flint's dead. Flint's going down. I'm not strong enough to help. Oh my god. I didn't get... Th oh, fuck. This is rough. I think we have to do this this turn. <laughs> Flynn really got owned there. Throw some fire? Mm. 
Well, you know what? With all these... It's really tempting to just shoot a darkness arrow at my feet. Because most of these guys are ranged. Three of them. Let's try that. I should be able to solo these two in darkness. Although I do have jump up. This is such a bad slant though. They'll be like going down slant, they'll be able to hit you from way far away. It's just darkness arrow, huh? See how this goes. Fireball, maybe? I wish. <laughs> wish I had a fireball, man. Okay. Not sure which one I prioritize. I think maybe the Yanogu? I forget what it does, but whatever it is, it's really annoying. Well, basically, trade opportunity attacks, I think. Although this one's marked. <laughs> Fuck it. Cloud of Daggers would be decent, but there's enough room to run around it that I can't rely on it. This is why I don't play uh, Warlock Pact of the Blade with Devil Sight. It just feels like cheating. Wait, wait, wait! How long does... Oh, no, am I dead? Dude, I just... Dude, I love... I love watching my, like replays when I say shit, <laughs> and then I die. How long does that darkness arrow last? I, this is why I love is I don't use this shit, and so then I just like forget. Like that did not last long at all. Soul offering, soul numb. What's that? Can't take both actions or reactions. Thank you for missing all three. Ah. Okay. Can't take bonus actions. Which means I <clears throat> would either need to kill him this round. We could try a darkness spell itself. Do we get ballsy? I feel like being ballsy. Um, and, and I actually don't feel like I'm being stupid though. I know it may seem kind of stupid with how low I am. Let me read Soul Numbed again. That's it. I don't know. I don't see him being able to kill me. That's it. I thought the Darkness Arrow lasted longer than it did. Gotcha. Okay. Well, now we know. Step out. Smite him. Step in. We'll get our bonus action after next round. Unless the Yunogu himself solos me. Um, which I still have my orc passive.
Okay, we have our bonus action finally. I can't finish him off this round. My question is, why isn't he getting an attack of opportunity when I come out of the darkness and then go back in? Like, shouldn't he shouldn't he get an attack of opportunity? Oh, I need to stay. Oh, this is not great. Yeah, they're going to come try to sniff me out, and if they don't, then they drop combat. I need to get ready to smack him immediately. No, 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 don't heal. God damn it. I legitimately hate that combat drop from Invis. Warlock Devil Sight is cheating until you get encounters and all of a sudden enemies ignore darkness. True. I don't I don't have it memorized who all does that. Okay, so I already used my action opening. We'll just go hide again. Quite a few enemies have double sight? Really? I didn't know that. You mar aren't moving out of his attack range. Oh, true. Okay. That makes sense. What you might be referring to, David, is them running into darkness. Well, well, actually, never mind. If you have Devil's Sight, then I can't explain it. But if you don't have Devil's Sight, um, then you're both just blinded, so neither technically has disadvantage. But yeah, if, if you if you have Devil's Sight and they don't, then I can't explain it. Oh man, how much longer on darkness? That's the real question. Uh, what are you shooting? What? I do want to top off just in case darkness disappears and caught with my pants on. God damn it, I'm in Viz again. So annoying. Please see me. No! We need to find a way forward. Ah. Jesus Christ. Alright, well. <laughs> so awkward with the dirge cloak. Uh, let's see if they go in, actually. Let's see if they engage these guys. Oh, we get a big boy, Ilthid Tadpole, from uh, Flint. Bag of holding. Think they turn around. There's an Ilithid parasite in that corpse. You should take a look. Oh, this is this really tempting. We'll keep it on us. You can absorb its potential. Okay. Got luck. We'll go for backlash and coal next. Wish they'd push in or something. I, I just don't like that I have one spell slot left. What about this? Definitely go after the hunter first. Stricken with drought poison. He's. I believe he's sleeping. So we're not going to smite. Okay. 
Can I shove you in there? Wait, why are you back up? Okay. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm pushing him to you. Help me out. Now they want to talk to me, but I'm invisible. <laughs> what if I just took their caravan strong box and dipped? Hold up. I want to try this. Do I? Yeah, I want to try it. It'd be funny. Let's see what happens. These boots have seen everything. By the God. Are any of my crew still alive up this whole resin roads more day? We're bound for Baldur's Gate. I don't it's think fine. they know. We'd be dead if it doesn't change the plan, though. We'll head over there and check for survivors. Okay. Well, lad, it's our lucky day after all. Stop looking. I don't feel lucky. The rest of our crew's off digested, and you're still alive. That's lucky. Wonder if I still have drow poison? Looks like it wore off. Okay. Poor Ollie. Bless up and heal up. Whoa, what are all these doing on the ground? Hopefully it doesn't do something weird like shut me off. Oops. Wait, wait, wait. Whole big boy tadpole doesn't matter like you think. If you long rest after the cutscenes outside the goblin camp, you can absorb tadpoles after the meeting. After meeting the guardian the first time. Oh, well. That makes sense, because I never go to the goblin camp that fast. Well, wait. I've, I've been to the Goblin Camp. I've long rested. I've gone down to the Underdark. What? Did I miss something? This fucking guy. Blowing through my health pots. I'm blowing through consumables in general. It's quite a bit. Nice. At the ready. I wish there was a way to say, I know I'm invisible, but let me auto attack of opportunity if I want. Okay. Loot, no cave. Hold on, let me get notes. I'll do this off stream. So you guys don't have to watch it. Loot no cave. Okay. Cool. 
grab this though. I guess we long rest again. Yeah, it's going to be like a spellcaster with how much we long rest, at least early. I just knock out Ollie. Can you, do you find Ollie later on? That'd be awesome if you do. That'd make me not want to kill. Oh, that's right. Drop an item. You told me that last time. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to incorporate that. Okay. So we we'll probably go talk to the Zent now. We're getting close. A thousand, hip a thousand experience away. We'll kill those gnolls later. Where where am I? There. Oh, loot. Joaquin's. Love your vibes. Oh, thanks, man. It's been a long time since I made actual videos. Unless you're just talking about my live streams. But no, I'm glad you like them, man. I have a lot of fun making them. It's what I, literally, what I look for during the week is uh, streaming. So the fact that I've been able to stream twice this week is huge. This calls for careful footwork. Oh, I did get the passphrase. I didn't think it, whoops. I didn't think I got the passphrase. I never kill this guy, but there's no reason not to. Keep forgetting you can. Oh man, I keep doing this backwards. Need to be opening with Hunter's Mark for surprise. Never been color sprayed before. Yeah. Unfortunately for the poor guy, it didn't work. Forty XP, worth it. Loot Zent. So this room, I'm, I'm not going to loot it right now, but this room is like one of the best rooms in Act 1 for food. Loot the brown stuff. Don't never loot vases, they never have anything. Best be on my way. Loot anything that's brown, like barrels, crates, baskets, stuff like that. We're going to do the same thing after the absolute cutscene. I long rest, sweat, meet the guardian, absorb the tadpoles. Wonder if the I wonder what I'm doing wrong. Me. Whoops. Swift as my feet can carry me. Ah, where's Okay, and then right here is where she'll see me. That's far enough. What's your then your answer decides his fate. That just tells me you've met my people. Not why we Okay. One day I'll catch a break. Oh, I sent it to camp. Whoops. Let's go get it.
Do you make spreadsheets of information of BG3? No, I, I have a notepad. I just put a lot of information in notepads. I've shared it on the Discord before. So, ah, thanks for giving me a plug. Um, here's a link to Discord. Anyone who wants to come hang out, come hang out, man. We like discussing the game and just shooting the shit. But yeah, I just have a Discord of notes. What does color spray do? It puts you to sleep. Um, here it is. Or blind. My bad. Whoops. Blind creatures up to a combined 33 hit points. So that's different from 3rd edition. Uh, it used to do a whole myriad of things. You've already br Our trader can... Okay. Okay, so we on. I'm I'm probably not going to save the artist, just because I'm already low on gold, and I can already tell you I'm going to have to buy a lot of consumables. What, and also, done, he's kind of annoying. My pet artist will make you a most. Mm, tell him something I can help you with. Of course, got some interesting stuff. For a okay, family. so they have invis pots, which I do kind of need. He's got Titan string. Question is, am I going to need it? It's 1100 gold. Rupturing blade's kind of cool, especially for a one hander. Oh, you yourself take 1d6. Maybe not as cool. Okay. We'll get the gloves of thievery, I guess. Okay. So in my test testing, there's no check now if you give the pass raise to the woman. And then say you know what happened. Yeah, that's... Yep, we're all good to go. No save. Okay. The pocket sand. I like that. It's a good way to think about it. Let's, um... Let's do this. Nothing like a little mayhem, huh? Where did she go? She like ran off or something. Maybe we need to have one or two tadpoles when he longer is? Huh. David, I wish you'd stream so I could just like watch your path and what you do. Excited to get Coal of the Week, though. Or whatever it's called. I think it's Coal of the Week. I think she ran off this way. One of these times I'm gonna, like... Are these armed now? Is that what happened? Okay, sh I, might, I could get myself killed here.
curious if this explosion goes off from a grease. We'll test it. Fuck it. Does not. Nor did I aggro. Jesus. There we go. This fight is hard. You've messed up. At least you won't live to regret it. Okay. There we go. Sounds like Auntie Ethel. Okay. Before I get too far away, I need to throw this. Science! Exactly. Those Ent Traps stay disarmed? So they never rearm them once they disarm them. Okay. Good to know. Guess we're just kite. I don't know. Until she catches up to me, there's no point in running up to her. I just wish my bow did more damage. So it hasn't caught up to me. And now I outpace her. If you watch me stream BG3, you just learn how to make the game way more boring. Uh, I do pride myself on, like, the pace. I feel like that makes it fun. Instead, of, like, you know, sometimes I get really nervous and I have to, like, really think about something. But it almost adds to the danger of, like, trying to go through it real fast. I don't know. Does that make sense? She healed. Nice. Thanks, dude. This is why jump is so good early. It's a bonus action to just make it so they can never get to you. Even those with, like very low strength can for the most part outrange people even when they're dashing I'm insufferably thorough always level 10 before avatar same actually yeah, that's I, I always aim to be level ten before I do Avatar. Um Thanks, David. Appreciate it, man. Okay.
don't like being next to that barrel. Hopefully I don't die here. Depends on what he shoots. Nice. Shoot, I should have should have done Hunter's Mark first. If Yankee Jump saved your life last night, I miss playing Get the Yankee. Um, I want to play another class that g gets a ton of benefit from him sometime. That race is a lot of fun. Ah, one. See, I messed up. If I would have Hunter's Mark first that last turn, I would have killed him there. I like your way as long as I'm watching. Hell yeah, dude. I'm glad you hang out, man. I want to be bored when I play and excited when you play? Hey, I'll take it, dude. Yeah, it's a lot different when you're when you're playing. Like, in everything's... Things aren't slow. Like, they might be to someone else. Okay. Because to me, this is a slow fight. I think I can get him this round. Oh, I didn't even look. It was like 36% because I had disadvantage. I had to go one more round. Maybe you should try the small races sometime. I might with Druid. I think I think it'd uh, be complement like a gnome would be complemented very well with a Druid, like a Moon Druid, since you're wild shaped all the time. Come on, man. My jump wore off already. Yeah. They're just so good. They're, they're so good in so many different ways. Like, even, even like, the minutia of, like, having Mage Hand. Uh, an invisible Mage Hand, right? Because isn't Get the Yankees Mage Hand invisible? Um... I think. I might be... Either way, having Mage Hand on Grim, when you fight Grim, is huge. Can I, like, not miss this guy? Yeah, the... <laughs> the males aren't that great. True. Gonna do a Bard Solo run after my monk? Talk them to death? I was thinking about that. If I did a bard run, I might just talk the Act 2 guys to death. Just to do it. Okay, Zaris is coming. Or not. Into the bloody fray. We'll open up on her next turn. Invis made it. Okay, good. Yeah, it, isn't that just nutty? And Misty step at 5, yep. And jump, yep. Astral knowledge. Medium armor. God damn. Great swords. Swords. I don't know if she has a roaring arrow. We'll be safe. We'll go back here. She has an acid arrow. My hit chance is so abysmal. But we crit. Maybe we go like high AC build. Like everything is focused on AC. Um, but if we can get away with any crit items, we do that too. And then get Savage Attacker. That probably won't work though. All the crit stuff is going to interfere with AC. This is why I love the arrow snatching gloves. I'm just never worried if I'm fighting an archer. 
Like like a one v one archer. I uh, just who cares? Got the strong box. Almost done. No way I'm touching small races. That's where I've been, man. There's no existing multiverse timeline where I do. I uh, My reason has just been I, I can't sacrifice the movement speed. Movement speed's too important to me. But that that obviously... Uh, I think it might work on a mood druid, so maybe that's what we do. Yeah, I probably should have Flora Louved like a long time ago. We good though. We're basically clear. Uh, I'm not in danger anymore, so we'll just go through the tedium of fighting these guys. Ah, oh, they broke my hunter's mark, man. Sorry guys, but I need the experience. How far from level 5? We should be getting close. Um, 426 HP, or XP. The best thing about this fight is we didn't use any spell slots, so we don't have to rest. Okay, yeah, we'll loot. I don't need those. Oh, mirror image, I need that. We'll loot the Zentarum, this whole outpost off stream. I think I already put a note. Yep. Take mirror image and we'll get out of here. Maybe kill the rest of the gnolls. We could start clearing out the goblin camp too, actually. Um, things can go to shit, though, is the problem. We'll, we'll, we'll at least hit level 5. Oop, I went the wrong place. That's down there, okay. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough trying to figure out what to do. I'd like to hit level 5 before I do anything that can just go disastrously wrong. Hey, say who okay. How you doing, man? I've watched uh, some of your streams, man. I love your stuff. If you guys haven't uh, checked out, say Hookah is basically doing exactly what I'd, I'm doing, but I think he might have gotten further. So, check out his channel. Valor Bard Halfling would get advantage on stealth. Greater Viz. Use a Titan. Okay. Oh shit, 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 shit. Don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. My turn. I can't quite make it. God, I go last. I 
I really hate having low initiative. What path lies before me? Monks can get out of tight situations. I'm I'm very in I'm eager to play a monk. Part of me is like, if I die in my paladin, I might roll a monk. Chase chicken. I've already chased the chicken, but I don't. Someone pointed out I don't think I collected my winnings last time. So yeah, maybe we go do that. Fuck. I I don't want to be safe, but we'll be safe. I feel like this is lame gameplay. That's why I don't like doing it. Um, what's the subclass for this run? Oathbreaker. There's no way I can hold my oath with everything I kill. Just willy-nilly. <laughs> Paladins don't really have a subclass. That matters. I would like to do the whatever gives me the aura that gives me plus five to saves. That would be so ideal, but we're just not going to get that. Oh, you beat Orin today! House of Hope, oh shit, good luck, dude. I don't even know what uh, New Raphael does, but I'm sure he's not going to be easy, so good luck, man. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. Oh, wait, he does, uh, you don't do haste at all? That's a really good challenge. Respect. You hear the female streamer Luality just finished her solo honor, mo honor mode run? Yeah, I saw that. Um, it was yesterday or the day before. So yeah, she uh, she really plays well. Props to her. Okay, the I think I rush in now. God damn it! Never mind. What'd she play? Um, what was Loudy's class? She respect like crazy. Yeah, she's super, super meticulous. Um, I appreciate that gameplay. I just my ADD won't let me do that. If it's not like fast pace, I get tired. I will actually hang out right here. I wish ours were sooner than they are. I actually don't even know what level they are. You guys would be surprised at how little I actually know and just kind of like take it as it comes. Uh, seen her stuff since Dark Souls? Hell yeah. That's my game, Dark Souls. <laughs> All these misses with advantage. Have I done the... I have done this, okay. She's grown on me, especially after her solo honor run. Oh yeah, she does well. Someone should make a mod that turns fire wine barrels into regular barrels. Like an anti barrelmancy mod? Dude, that's a super good idea, actually. That That's like a legit mod that you would see for people who want a bigger challenge. See, I'm outraging these guys with my jump. I actually need to run back up. Is Loudy the girl that does the high five thing? I think so. I've seen her do high five stuff. Avengers Pally loses oath anyway to get Hag's hair. Oh, do they really? That's hilarious. Yeah, we're we're just not going to be able to keep an oath at all. Okay, where do we go? Ooh, do we jump up on the roof? Or oh, invisible? We can go where we want. Let's go like here. 
She's played pretty much everything. I think I've seen her both as a monk and swords bard at different times. Okay. Nice. All right, here we go. Why? Why doesn't it ask me to smite? It's done that before. When I come out of invis, it doesn't ask me to smite. Let's see if they both get to attack me this turn. Nice. That's that's awesome that he's coming to me. It's perfect. Ask me a smite. There we go. House of House? Oh, yeah, I think you meant House of Hope, yeah. House of Hope? More like House of Nope. Yeah, it is a... That's a clincher right there. That and uh, House of Grief are probably the defining moments of Act 3. Cool. More Null Leaders. I didn't get ours on Pally until like 10 or something? Oh, shit. Playing while watching your stream to start a new run? Ooh, what you playing? What uh, class you playing, Evelyn? Let's see what this does. Not having an oath is okay, or of hate is like Arcane Synergy Band. Okay. Yeah, I'm excited just to see everything come together. Loudy respect into entirely different classes. Oh, interesting. Okay. Well, on, I'm, I mean, whatever it takes to beat that first honor mode run is, you know. I think I, I gatekeep myself way too much. Way more than I should. She probably did it right. Ah! I hate Firewine. You guys remember they used to have more Null Ears than they have now? They actually had a patch to nerf the amount of Null Ears you get because it's so ridiculous. One of these letters does something. Hmm. Always room for more? Swords Bard. Are you doing a Swords Bard? It's fun. Um, on my Swords Bard playthrough with my friends, the one thing I wish I would have been able to do more that I just didn't get to was the uh, the flourish that allows you to teleport when you hit an enemy with a range attack. I didn't find as many scenarios as I would have liked to use that. But I thought it'd be fun if you could get good with that. Okay. 266. Getting so close. Got Buther and Grucko. Got Karlak. Probably just start purging goblins. I think finding this thing down here gives experience too. Oh, it was her second run, so she failed one? Okay. I just thought she was insanely good. I thought that was her first run. I mean, she is insanely good. Honor Mode House of Grief does not have Radiant Retort on anyone except Viconia. Why? That makes it way easier. Gonna take a level of Tepes Cleric next level for heavy armor? Want to use the Thunder Hammer and jump around? Um, I've heard it's that uh, Hammer Haft is insanely good and one of the most broken builds, but I've heard people just get bored to death doing that. So, either way, if you find it fun, then have at it, man. Our tool will do the trick. Hmm. 
Guess I don't get experience for that. Um, need easy experience, man. Let's go collect our winnings. Need to act two thunder items to make it work. Hmm. Well, now you look like a toughen, but have you got smart? Oh, I've already done skills. it, though, you bitch. Yes. Um, I don't know if I have another animal speaking. I've got to do it simple, like I say, but not. We'll do it another time. Yeah, I don't have an animal speaking potion. I've already done this though. I just forgot to collect the winnings. Yeah, see, chicken's still standing there. I am dark urge, so we'll get that meat later. I'll get a capture card and be honor mode as Jack of all trades solo. Dude, I hope you do. I'm rooting for you, Jake. I want to see that so bad. Um. Okay. We back to splinter cell mode. I got bored with the jump hammer after literally one fight. That's what I've been hearing. That's what I've been hearing, man. Solo build was two paladin, two fighter, eight bard. Okay. So she was smiting too, huh? Interesting. Doesn't appear to see me. You're being arrested for a All right, long rest. Yeah, good luck, but also take care of yourself. Dude, fucking 57 tugboats, man. You're crazy, dude. I love it. Divine strike with the boots that gives you a free jump after a dash. Very fun on Thieved. Or, oh, diving strike, my bad. Huh. Sounds like fun. At the ready. I hate that I automatically go into dialogue with these guys. I just want to kill them. Courses through you. Authority. There we go. Never mind. We're good. A lot of work clearing out the goblin camp and not getting caught. And I own those guys. That's the boss. I think my chance to kill her is already passed. If she goes this way, I might try to take her. I suppose I could probably just take her out here. I don't need any attention, my This should this should hopefully trigger surprise. Arrested. She is surprised. Perfect. Sure hope I hit. Dang it. She 
should kite back this way. Um, <coughs> probably bliss. Why did it not change? Should run back this way, not towards everyone else. Unless she just doesn't want to take her turn. Okay. So you can't pick up knocked out people. Interesting. You could probably have a lot of fun with that if you could. Okay. Can't take her yet. Okay, I'll catch a break. Damage calc on that Divine Smite, it's a 2d8 Radiant. It's nice. Probably rest before this next fight. It can go south. Never wanted the easy path. We'll see. <laughs> Gith monks are stupid strong. I can see that. That's probably the best class for them, right? Or well. Or a Starion, I would think. There's a patrol, but I'm not sure if I killed him yet. Um, we'll probably bless staff. Equip Falar. Oh, they're looking at me now. What the hell? With haste. Dang it. Have to keep well, that was awkward. How I miss, miss Minor Illusion, man. Six turns on Bless, five turns on Bless. There we go, there we go. This might do. Dang it. Whatever, let's go. We got three turns. Being arrested for... Oh no, there's the patrol. Don't see me. I saw him run up. Maybe not. Maybe it's this guy just walking. It looked like the patrol was running up. <laughs> That's so much fun. Just slowly clearing out the camp. Tom Clancy style. Might try heavy armor monk next. I've heard people talk about it. Can't and say, say say it's good, so yeah, I'm interested. Ninety-six. Ninety-six experience left. Is this strength build? How'd you 
do the stats. Um, yeah, so 17 strength, 14 dex. I could probably drop, dump that since I'm wearing heavy armor, um, but I'm Oathbreaker, so it costs 1,000 gold to respec. And then uh, Constitution after that, and then Wisdom. And obviously dump and Charisma. Beat the game once? Hell yeah. Get Omelum's amulet? Okay. Could have thrown those two in the pit? True. Probably. I don't throw as much as I probably should. Okay, Brawler, Sharp Eye. All right. Time to God damn it. Bless up again. Just a little systematic culling right here. And we can probably make use of Shriek. So you guys saw it there. That's something I want to maybe try pulling some shenanigans with. Is they run away from the shriek radius if you're not in combat. So you can like corral them to places that you want. Um, ow! I'm going to see what I can do with that. That hurt. What's your problem? Well, they're not dead, that's why. This is fun. <laughs> it's my favorite thing. Big thing they use charisma for is auras. It may also impact this control undead thing. I'm betting it does. Not sure though. Man, that didn't level me? 36. Uh, let's go talk to Roa. See if she has anything good. Careful her. Don't be seen by the eye. Yep. We pulled it off, man. She does have a magical javelin, which is tempting. If I was richer. She's got fireball scrolls. That's also tempting. I'm lo running low on health pots. But nothing too pressing right now. One more thing I could do. I mean, we might, may, we'll chance this. This is kind of risky, this fight. Just because they can, they can see you. Like, the eye can see into this room. It's really annoying. Oh, yeah? The scrying eye was looking at me all strange. What would some drought with And these are all sharp eyes. Part of me wants so to... Won't be he a beautiful eye. Part of me even wants to just like rest again. God damn it. It's awkward. Let's do what um, Zalzir has been telling me and go get the necklace. Oh, he's not here. 
I turned in his quest, Zalzir. Did I screw myself? Does he disappear after that? Welcome back. I got all the mushrooms. Have you oh, here we go. Me? Nice. Got it. I greet you, son and child. Okay. Nice. Four fifty gold, but probably worth it. So if I do this, like restore third level spell, that's not going to do anything, right? It's kind of silly that it even gives you the option. Um, what else? Oh yeah, there's that chest there. That's true. Wait, did we even do the bugbear? I don't even know if we saved this girl up here from the bugbear. <laughs> Let's go see if she's still alive. That's something we could do. Rose, the best merchant, Act 1, 2. She's very good. Yeah. It's like the Alibaba for murder equipment. Yeah, true. You can see Monk Swords Bard is silly. Swords Bard is defensive flourish. Raise AC. Yeah. Yeah, that defensive flourish is very strong. Okay, yep. Bugbear's still here. Get that surprise. Then we'll get in there. Shoving me off. I mean, he could still shove me there. I don't know why I thought that was a better spot. Yay, level up. Let me guess. Care to ex. But if you're not here for the coin, I'd rather enjoy the quiet. There's not much of it anyway. 100 live viewers? No shit. 95. Damn! What's up, everyone? Well, that, and I th this is a great time to plug it. Come hang out in the Discord. We got, like, 100 people that love discussing the game. Come hang out with us. And welcome. Okay. We'll level up. Nisha Bow is nice. Yeah, I, I am making good use of Hunter's Mark, even a against fights where there are no monstrosities. I didn't even look at what I got. But I know I get a second attack. What else did... Fuck, what else did I get? Hold on, let me look, watch my stream. Some spells. Looks like I get darkness? Looks like magic weapon. Resto. Okay. Extra spell slots. Cool. Alright, and then there's a chest here. That we probably just feather fall down on. <laughs> the tiefling savior! That's me. I do like saving him. Damn, good eye. Good eye figuring this out. I didn't even see this. Why is that guy trying to kill her? I'm not sure. He's just part of the other faction. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, nice. We got some level 2 spell slots. Um, do you think we're strong enough to fight the harpies? I think we're strong enough to fight... Let, let me, um... Let me know what you guys think. If we can, if you think we can fight the heart, please. I'm gonna go pee real quick. God damn it! All right, bear back. Too risky, they're too mobile. Get level six. Silence bubble. I feel like I could do it. I feel like I could do it right now. But if I died, I would I would take unending shit. <laughs> Cause proficiency, wisdom saving throws, I bless staff, I jump, and then right before I talk to Murkon, I would Falarloof sing. Like I would have to be so unlucky to get killed the way I've gotten killed before and just constantly fail, but is the 60 XP worth it? Oh, that's right. It's like bullshit experience, isn't it? Um, okay. Maybe we go kill the Wood Wolves? This is going to be a really awkward fight. I probably want this. I probably want to dip. Wait, don't we still have these skeletons down here? Let me go clear them out. There they go.
Dang, that didn't one-shot him? Come on. Uh, where's my bonus action? Oh, I lost it. Shoot. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Wisdom Helm, unfortunately, doesn't do anything since I'm already proficient in wisdom saving throws. As a paladin. Okay, so they're all archers. Except for... No, yeah, they're all archers. Okay. Oh, yeah, two... Did I mess that up last turn? I, I think I skipped a full free attack. What a ding-ding. Nah, Wisdom Helm gives proficiency. Yeah. I'm liking this. Maybe we do this. Maybe we Shattered Flail with, uh, um, Periapt of Wound Closure. Smiting with the with this flail healing seems good, no? Oh, this is stupid. Because he's gonna run right past me. You real? Oh, actually, I still have an attack. Never mind. So I, I need to remember this. When you attack out of invisibility, you cannot. It does not give you an option to smite. Okay, sanctuary on Mercon. Ooh, yeah, true. You had to kill the harpies this level anyway, unless you always want to always know you let Murkon die. It is sad because he writes you such a sweet letter for saving him. God, I love having two attacks. The power the power spike is just so obvious. Flail confirm base. Yeah, I I think this might be the play. And I wasn't even considering this until right now. Wish I had a bag of holding. These guys are weak to bludgeoning? Yeah. They be. And somehow uh this flail's bludgeoning. Oh, I guess it kind of looks like it'd be bludgeoning. Is that really what it looks like? That looks way different from this tooltip. This looks like a whip. And this looks like an actual club. Speak your name if you are known to my master. Of what thank you of this tell me? If you could see and you Did I read this book over here? There's a book here that gives you experience. Clunk. Be more scared of this fight than the harpies? It can go south pretty fast. And it did this last playthrough. I had to run away. <laughs> but. 
Yeah, we'll stick with Shattered Flail for now. See how it plays out. Issue with Harpies and RNG Factor? Yeah. That's why I'm saying I think I can do it. But if it if it doesn't work out, you guys are gonna be like, why why did you do that? <laughs> gotcha. Has anyone tried like mixing, maybe there's something obvious I'm missing. Has anyone tried mixing a monk with a paladin? Can you smite with your fists? That's probably what I'm missing. You probably can't, right? But I could see that being like ridiculous. Cause there's some really good clothing that you can make use of. Or like a uh, an unarmed, um, Sorkadin that goes like dragon sork. They wear clothing and then they get the extra, you know, 13 AC from being dragon. Wonder if anyone's tried that. Okay, we got thieving gloves. Where are they at? There they are. Bet I can crack that open. Oh, I failed perception. Turn based. Take book. Bye bye. Moving ahead. Okay. This place is done. Susur weapon. Yes. Um. The, que the question is, which weapons? Should I still try to want to have a uh, shield? Just because all of her clones could, like, poison me? Or just in general, for a scissor weapon, would it... Yeah, I think, uh, maybe we just get a dagger or something. Or the sickle. Act 3, the best rapier likes you to have a free hand. Think you need a weapon to smite? Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'll have to look into it. Because it could be, like, stupid powerful if certain things are allowed. Alright, we need to be on the lookout for a sickle, I think. And if we don't find one, maybe we just go dagger. You always just put a bucket on the plate? Yeah. I could have done that, but... Probably easier to just take it and dash. My way of balancing defense with offense. Yeah, I don't want to be a wet noodle for sure. Kind of want to <clears throat> just get to the point where they can't hit me very well and then start doing damage. I'm not sure what that sweet spot is. Okay, this is trapped. Go up here first. Should I go to sleep or play BG3? Depends on your obligations, man. If I was younger, I'd be like, play, man, duh. Um, but if you got obligations at home, maybe take a nappy nap. 
Monk is so strong, like, not clear that weapons are really better than Monk. Oh. Yeah, that's probably true. That's probably true. Either Draconic or Unarmored or Mage. Oh, you're talking about, like, the Wisdom from Monk. Or, uh... No, yeah, no, I think I'm on the right track. You wear clothing. That's what I mean by unarmored. So there's, like, uh, clothing that still gives you plus one armor class. Like the, uh, I forget what it's called. I, I'm not sure what the potent robe does. It probably does. Um, but the infernal robe you get from doing Will's quest line and killing Karlak. Um, but, so that gives one armor class, and then you get the f base 13 from being dragon sorcerer. That's that's what I was trying to say. And then you could stack the stuff like these bra the bracers I just got that boost if you're unarmored, or and, and then you could use a two-hander, or you could wear a shield instead. I don't know. There's so many options in this game; it's hard to keep everything straight. Okay, I didn't see a sickle anywhere. Great sword or dagger, probably. Because the thing about AC, AC is so much better than than like new players think, because it, it deflects spells too. Like if they hit me with ray of sickness, they had to beat my AC. So I feel like maybe I get a dagger. I don't know. Fuck it. We'll do it and see if we regret it. First, we'll see if there's a sickle. I'm pretty sure there's not. We got the Susser Dagger. It's not going to do any damage, but we can at least smite off of it and it silences, so it's something. How many poison resist elixirs? Got one on me. God, part of me wants to fight the spider now. But that's silly. Okay. We'll go do the wood woods. Oh, we haven't uh, even talked to these guys. We haven't talked to Roland either. some good experience. Let's go uh, convince Roland to stay in fight since he's probably my third favorite character arc now. Yeah, I, I man, I kind of miss Red Dragon Sorcerer. That was a lot of fun. I almost want to go back and try to make Cold Sork work again, but I'd probably regret that. <laughs> Do a quick sell real quick. 
Need anything else? Of course. But please, remember, you're not the only one in need. Anything good. He's got Misty Step. That fly worked really well on a Paladin, huh? Unfortunately, that's almost 500 gold. I can't afford that. Call good. Dr. Roland. Seems like a good moment to talk. Can we stop shouting? Pals. As a Barbarian, I didn't even need to roll. Or yell louder. Your Paladin. That's fine too. Just like I was saying. Thank you. Okay, so yeah, if, if you just roleplay your class and do your class specific, you can convince them. I didn't know that. I could have done that earlier. Dude, I want to go. I want to. You have no idea how bad I want to just do the harpies. Flower loops basically an artifact. Yep. Cold Sorg was the first run of yours that I watched. It was fun. Hmm. Dig this up. So we're not even full health right now. We'll see if we can end this fight at full health. See if these guys just rejuvenate me. Are you going to go 12 Paladin? I am so torn, man. I'm being pulled in like five different directions of what I want to spec. I could go Sork Paladin, I could go Bard Paladin, I could go Cleric Paladin, I could go um, Pure Paladin. So I guess four directions. Can't even talk to her. Hello? Oh. I, I, I. Let's see if we can perceive this. Chill runs up your spine. You feel like you're being no. watched. The place. But Dragon Sorg is very solid. If you allow for a single dip in cleric, yeah, that was the thing. Is uh, I was doing no multi-classing. You're probably right, though. That probably could have made all the difference. Orcalus would just throw a shoe at the strange ox. I don't want to do it. <laughs> I know it drives you crazy, David. I'm sorry. What's in here? Oh, don't consume. Whoops. That gave me an upset stomach. Oh, man. How many people have done that? It, like accidentally eat an apple and got an upset stomach. Jesus. Basically, netheral levels of magical loot excess. Yeah, well, it is Larian. They go all out, man. Okay. 
Probably bless. Bless jump. Let's jump go. I've got my crossbow. They're probably poison resist. Um, I don't have any fire. That's all right. We probably won't need it. Didn't see me. Shoot again. Dang. Okay. We'll give ourselves a little bit of room to kite back. Just because they blow up in an explosion. So if like, I would want them to come here. So that I could pull back here and come. Yeah, yeah, no warding bond X that that's my one rule is that shit is cheesy to me. And that's my rule. That's not my rule for anyone else. I'm just not gonna warding bond. You know how easy that would make this shit if I warding bonded? Like I don't even have to care. Oh, thanks, Moon Man. Yeah, a lot, a lot of it is, uh, like, movement and positioning. Like, uh, no matter what you're playing. It does seem to be kind of the theme of this game. Oh, shit, you got COVID? I heard I heard this new variant's not that bad. How you doing? Are you real fucked up, or are you just kind of shitty? Path is interrupted. Damn it. I think I still let him come here. Worst case scenario, we disengage, jump. Yeah, I feel better, man. Yeah, my grandma got it last month. She's like 80-something. And I thought, uh, like, you hear, like, someone that age getting COVID, you're like, oh, shit, are they, are they dead? But she recovered just fine, so I think the new variant's not that bad. Nice little chain reaction there. There we go. Perfect. We'll hang out here on this side. Your parents are 97, 95 and we're exposed to your holiday party. Yikes! And they're all good? Okay. We'll just hang out here still. Surprised they haven't come over yet. 
tough old birds. I feel that. Mm, sure. See if we... Nine force damage? It's not terrible. I just can't have a chain reaction of them dying around me. That was a bad disadvantage. Dang. Okay. What about using companions to generate food? Make them berry farmers? Anything that like slows the game down, I'm not for. Um, and I feel like that would slow the game down quite a bit. Yeah, I'm kind of in trouble with this rooted shit. I might actually have to misty step out of here. Hopefully I have a scroll. Dimension... Oh, there it is. Yeah, we'll go to like here. Secure the kill here. Dang. Please. Now we're gonna same the. Uh, hopefully the ground doesn't get fucked. This next turn, or was I am in trouble? I guess we just do the same thing. Nope. So annoying. These uh, ain't young mud methods uh, hug you, and I think that's because Larian designed it. If you kill these guys, then they explode. Whoever summoned them. So it's kind of a smart design. Reduce movement, muddy. Come on. Killing me, Smalls. Do I throw? There, there's literally water below him, right? Maybe? No. Uh. Nice! Got it. And we'll just... We don't need a combat drop, so we'll... Drop anything. Okay. You just get a cleric to use prepare a fees for free food? Oh, true. Dang, that's a good idea. That'd be very simple. Of just a boop, done. I'd be down for that. I am, I am resting a ton on this playthrough. But it shouldn't be so bad now that I have, like, the extra spell slots and level 2 and stuff. I'm getting kind of unlucky with these shots. <laughs> I resent the insinuation that I'll pick up every piece of food I find. Yeah, that's me, buddy. Give me all that food. God damn it, I'm stuck again. Fuck it. Okay. Now's the fun part of where we just shoot these guys for like 10 minutes. Are they poison immune? They're not. Alright. Um, we'll coat. 
I only have shitty poison. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, I guess we just... Get do this for ten minutes. Finish my solo on a run with so much junk you wouldn't believe. Oh, I believe. Trust me, I believe. What I just like about this encounter is that walking to water does not remove muddy status. That's a good point. Dip in fire. Yeah, I don't have any fire. Don't have no torches. I, I don't want to burn one of these consumables. I don't have a candle. Rookie move. Rookie move not having a candle. It's my mistake. I also just don't like dipping. But I probably would have done it here. No, no, I do not. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Don't have a candle. I'll be back in half an hour. I know, guys. God damn it. Almost there. Almost got one down. Yeah, it's micromanaging. You gotta. Just gotta keep in mind, I'm kind of lazy. I'm lazy and not. I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it. Some things I try really, really hard. Other thing that's like tedious, I'm like, eh, not interested. Like I'd have to keep track in my mind of like the third round I gotta redip. I don't know. It's stupid. Like I, I know. I already know it's stupid. So. Ooh, I got advantage there. Oh, it's because I killed the guy who was in this. Dipping is horrible for your gums. Um, it, um, I would know. Not just your gums. So I used to do... I used to like the peppermint um, non-tobacco stuff. That, that was just like nicotine pouches. Like Rogue and Zen and whatever else there is. Um, don't... If I help one person out here, I'm going to be so happy. I've always had the greatest teeth. My, my dentist complimented me. Said like, God damn, great teeth. All, all my life. Then I started, not even for very long, for like less than a year, I started dipping these nicotine pouches. They're peppermint flavored. It's the peppermint. Dude, it, it wore the enamel off my teeth. Like my teeth were like so sensitive. I'd be laying in bed and my teeth were throbbing. And it and it's, and it's better a little bit. And I haven't done it in like six months. It's better a little bit, but there's still like residual effects. Like I think it wore my fucking enamel off my teeth. So if I save anyone by saying that, please do not, if you're going to do any of that stuff, do not do the peppermint flavor. You're explaining ADD? Yeah, yeah, that's me. That's me, my friend. Nice way to trick these two? Yeah. I don't like jumping. Snuff is supposed to be the only form of tobacco that does not kill you early. Hmm. Interesting. Just said lunch, you're still going strong? Yeah, I should probably call it here soon, though. And try to do a longer stream on the weekend, although it is New Year's, so we'll see. What'd you have for lunch? I always want to, want to say another shrimp on the Barbie, but I'm sure that's fucking annoying. Okay. <laughs> Got him. What's inside? With the astral sword, sword and still nearly died? Dang. Entangled.
There's a purple dot that shows you dipped, especially if your weapon is enchanted. Oh, and it'll like disappear if it wears off. That's huge. That makes things a lot easier. Best be on my way. Open up. Fast food. Had a chicken burger. That sounds good. My wife made donuts tonight. So we just got like a do dozen chocolate donuts homemade upstairs. I, I swear her like secret plan is to make me really, really fat. So no other girls talk to me or something. I used to be in like insane shape um, before I met her. And then I met her and now she, she's like the best cook. Like Filipina making like chicken adobo and like the best shit I've ever tasted in my life. I'm just slowly gaining weight. <laughs> Anytime your weapon has something applied to it, there's a purple dot. Okay, I'll have to keep that in. I'll have to remember to look for that. Cool. So that's out of the way. Do we want to try to do the uh, red caps? They fucking hit hard, though, is the thing. Um, actually, why, why did I even ask that? We could go... We, well, we've got some options. We could go do um, Kaga, since we just did these Woodwoods. I, I unlocked the quest, right? Yeah. So, could probably go do that. I've got and two points of inspiration if I really need. But if I'm not able to convince her to fight with me, I might be dead. But the alternative, I don't know what else to do at this point. Because here's here's the thing. At, at this stage of the game is when I should probably finish the goblin camp. Uh, and, I, and in order to do that, I need to do Kaga's Shadow Druid quest first. Otherwise, uh, you don't have the option to do that once you've killed Minthara and Droid Ragsland. And then once I do that, I can go to the Mountain Pass without worrying about any of this content just going away. So that's the bind I'm in. I'm addicted to BG3. Help. Fill that, dude. My buddy married a Filipino woman as well. Amazing cook. Yep. It just comes with the territory, man. I want donuts. I swear my metabolism can't keep up anymore. Yeah. It slows down. It sucks. Could you eat anything and stay thin? Yeah, 27. I think that's the magic number. It was around then for me, too. Turn on smite level 2 and reaction. Oh, I have to turn it on. Why? Okay. So now it's going to ask me if I want to do 1 or 2, right? Better than nothing. Oh, boy. Is my bless still up? It's not. I need a long rest to get it back. We have guidance at least. I'm really worried about just not being able to convince Kaga and then having to fight her. I have an invisibility spell. If I really need... Could, could, she... The, she changes the tie of the fight so much. Oh, okay. Good to know. Yeah, I think I'm going to be doing Dark Urge for a while. Just because uh, it's just very, very good for honor mode. 
Hey, what's up, Lonnie? Yeah, we level five, dude. Fuck. Read the plaques? This? Here goes nothing. I clue the mural. Oh shit. Do I have that one ring? Yeah, religion plus one. The forest of Uh over here. I didn't even know this is a thing, dude. How do you know all this shit? Goddamn. The tower is the broke and if the Was that it? Okay, um I I gonna have to wait until you answer. Um so was that it? That those four right there, I succeeded all of them. So now if I talk to her, it should be an easier check. Don't act one one too many times. Like to restart? I feel you, dude. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, me, me and Sehuke both know the detriment of hitting those ballas outside the dual circle. It's no fun. Yeah, I did all four. I did this one, this one, this one, and this one, right? So that was four, but some were history. That's why I'm asking. So I, I, I think I think this is it, but if there's something else I'm missing, I, th I think we're good, but I really want to double check before I go. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's go. Probably open with jump, just in case. Go on. Say. I know the truth. It's just up. You think yourself quite the spy, don't you? Go. As you say, Oliden. Probably detect thoughts, huh? Usually that's the easier way to go. But you did say persuasion. Sometimes I, I get a special oath breaker, though. Oh no, that's an evil thing. I'll definitely interfere. What the fuck? Yeah, David, I had no idea either. Dude, every playthrough, man. And it's not just like small stuff you learn. It's like holy shit stuff, you know? Okay, so I'll probe her mind, I guess. Ooh. Ah, perfect. With the grove taken for Clipwood. The circle will see that I'm right. The great mother will guard us from all danger. Well, that helped me for a shit. Or maybe I just do this. I... Yes. Sylvanas demands... I was a careful call. I believe you would... Oh, nice. It was just the detect thoughts. Okay. We good. Cool. Imperative. That's <laughs> Dirge giving me Serena Williams vibes. <laughs> okay. Probably just bang on this guy. Fuck it, we'll blow everything. 
<laughs> Poor guy. What I do? We'll get set up for next time. Yeah, I think I think the power is starting to spike right here. Level two smites, two attacks per round. It's huge. Paladins don't get like a third attack at level eleven, do they? Like some other classes. Boink! Love it. Ooh, Carabon's poison. That's a good poison. I like the paralyzed poisons. Is, are you talking about for fighting Orin? Using Carabon's against her? Is she not poison resist? That's huge. Ow, fucking Christ. Who's Moonbeam am I in? nice. War Cleric's especially nice if you don't have another, uh, if you don't start with heavy armor on your other class. Holy shit, Sehuki, that's a big brain play, dude. Does that work? Dude, that's nuts if that works. God damn, I love you guys. And, and by Act 3, you can just like refresh vendors and buy as many of those haste pots as you need. You're going to be rolling in gold, so might as well. That's insane, dude. That's the only use for haste pots potions I have. Oh right, because you don't use haste. So of course you would figure out the best dude. I love it. Dude, I'm so proud of you. Like, I, I, I think that's the right word. I'm so proud of you for figuring that out. That's awesome. I'll have to remember that, man. Okay. We did it. That moonbeam's there. Bad girl, Cargo. Thought me a danger. My fate lies. Meanwhile, well, I won't forget the wood. Okay. There. So now, hold up. Let me double check. I think I can steal the statue now. Keep us. What about Zevlor? We will grant them safe harbor. Meanwhile. Okay. So I, th I, I think we're all good now. Better than nothing. Well, um, do I have another darkness arrow by chance? Oh, I gotta, I gotta ask Mole for the quest first. I don't think I ever talked to Arabella after saving her. There's so much just tiny experience everywhere, man. To remember. Talk to Donnie. <laughs> Kaga granny as fuck. Oh, uh, plaque checks let you do one 10 DC check and one 5 DC check. Okay. Otherwise, 13. Yeah, I'd much rather do one 10 DC and one 5. Okay. Cool. Good to know, man. His eyes flicker to yours for an instant, then away. As if it That's, yeah, I never even thought to read those plaques. Watching his hands, you realize he's opening something. Oh... Want some gold? He nods. That was only ten gold. Okay. Barb thrower with the infinite lockdown. Yeah, exactly. Because throwing the haste pots uses your action. So if for some reason your bonus action um, proning throws misses, then you just use your action to throw well, the haste pots. You saved Arabella from, and we're happy making sure we're ready. Nothing comes to mind. 
always eager to accept donations, though. Anything else? You've been a fr Well, she said nothing comes to mind. Dude, did I just mess up? Very well. I had a feeling you'd be back. You need help? Nothing comes to mind. Always eager to accept donations, though. Why is she saying nothing comes to mind? You've been a friend. Doesn't she want the statue? This is this is always when I go talk to her after, before I kill Minthar and draw Raglan, after I uh, do the Shadow Druids, I come to her. I had a feeling. And said I thought back. she might need help with something. Nothing comes to mind. Always eager to accept donations, though. So, oh, so you You've can't double dip anymore. Us. So you either you either proc the Grove fight by stealing the idol, or you do the Shadow Druids? Is that how it goes? Or you just gotta get the quest before Kaga. Ah, shit. Bummer, man. So basically, right after Arabella, you really want to try to get in to talk to Mole ASAP. Okay. Yeah, okay. So I just messed up the, uh, the sequence. Okay. So I'll be wearing free action on one ring. Bummer. I think I messed that up before. I completely forgot. Seems simple enough. Shoot. Okay. We'll just be minus one saving throw in armor class, I guess. So especially unfortunate when I'm like, I'm going max armor class. <laughs> How that chest have so much gold? Twenty eight. I don't know. Maybe there's like a randomization based off your level. Could be. Okay. Now it gets kind of dicey if I mess up. Always has two to five. Maybe the gold scales off level. That'd be my guess. Yeah. That has to be it. Oh, I'm not stealth. There's a time and a place for smashing, but it appears it. this isn't it. You're getting locked up. Wasn't me. You're free. Okay. She's just mugging me. What path lies before me? Okay. Just probably standing here. Yep. Do we want anything extra? Uh, things can really go south with this, this fight, just because they're all sharp eyes. They can all summon wards. So I really do need as much hit as I can get. Or not as much hit, but just a little boost. I really like the Shattered Flail, though. Everyone else minds their business. Got something to hide? God damn it. Light on my feet. I want to draw any attention. No way! Not 
not fooling anyone. Let's go down, come back up. Please stop looking at me. Five turns. Out of sight, out of mind. Whatever. We go. That was annoying. You're being arrested for a Please don't aggro. I can't aggro the other room, or we're in trouble. Run back here. Oh, I, sh I should have just snared that. Palton's just so good with the front loaded damage. As long as you've got the food to rest, I guess you're just cruising. Yeah. Boom! <laughs> Thanks, move man. Appreciate you, dude. Drop. Drop. And we'll take a quick nap. Dip the torch. Dude, I'm the worst. Ask David. David lost his mind when I was playing the Spore Druid because I was just not dipping anything. <laughs> yeah, I'm bad about it. Don't smite to kill a guy you want to speak with dead on? Oh, because it like lights him on fire or something, right? On my way. That's <laughs> kills nerd and ask the corpse. Okay. We'll wait for the guard to pat back here. Time to press ahead. Pick up these scrolls. If she takes too long, we'll just go in. Don't mind if I do. Oh, that's fire one. So this is a I, I never do use barrel mancy on this. But this is a situation where you could, just because it's like sitting there in its obvious setup. And when I say could, I mean like in my mind it's justifiable and not cheesy. Okay. You're being arrested for assault. That's Rose David too. <laughs> One day I'll catch a um, I'll just hang out here. Spore Druid's your favorite class subclass. Uh say so, okay, have you have you tried Moon Druid yet? Uh with with the changes, because they've they've fixed a couple things that um were broken, so they're now a little stronger from what I heard. Because more than likely, my next playthrough, once I do beat Honor Mode, will be either a Spore Druid or Moon Druid. Not call using barrels that are already there, Barrel Mancy. Exactly. That's my thing. Is like, if Larian's dropping you hints, like this, it's just perfect setup. Everyone's chilling, and there's barrels in the room. That's when I would be like, eh, yeah, that's justified. Butcher's got some health on him. Dang it. God, when you look at the far rooms, that was 55 damage right there. When are you doing Gnome Jack of All Trades, Orc? That's your thing, Jake. Dude, I'm terrified of Jack of All Trades, man. Moon Druid is one of the strongest melee fighters now. I really want to try it, man. The, the worst part about it is like the low AC, so everything's hitting you. Which means you're rolling more saves. Right? Because if like someone does menacing attack and you have high AC, they just, they just miss. But if everything's hitting you, you're rolling saves on everything. 
That's why I really think I'd want to do Gnome for a Moon Druid. Okay, we're not going to make it to him, so we'll just shoot him. So you guys say that this is of the only rooms I do barrel mints. Oh, nice, you do barrel mints here. I never have. I just never thought of it. Shoot the chandelier. Does that work? Of course it does, dude. Wow. If if I just didn't stream, I would know like maybe one fourth of everything I know. Just because you guys educate the shit out of me. I mean, it's good for melee combat, but I like becoming Owl Bear and doing Crushing Flight same turn. Oh, because the Crushing Flight's probably a bonus action. That makes sense. I never thought about that. Cool. We got Talson. Either way, that must be where the. If you want to find, I cannot allow. The, they are the ones. If I join you, will likely come with me. So okay. Wait. That is. He did that last time. That's so annoying. Can't talk to him when he's in bear form. Literally one shot Ketherick today with level four Paladin, level five Warlock. Pact of the Blade, that's a strong build, dude. Congrats, man. Legs protrude from the hole. A failed escape, it seems. It seems the tunnel collapsed mid dig and the body. Okay. Um, I got the stuff I came here to loot. Land druids. Hold on, I'm, I'm behind. You are not a dedicated caster as a moon druid, true. Land Druids have nice advantage of learning good spells, not available to other Druids, but still no shield, blur, mirror, image, misty step. Sure, sure. Land Druids should be able to greater invis, create water, and then do a spell and stay invis, as far as I understand. Oh, interesting. Land can cast Cloud Kill and stand in it. Oh, Land gets uh, Poison Immune? Mod I have lets dru Moon Druids shapeshift as a bonus or full action like normal Druids. Okay. Yeah, the bonus full action thing. I, I think um, the way it should be is bonus actions can also just be used as an action. There ne that needs to be a mechanic. Like what? You, you like didn't use your main action, um, but you used your bonus action, so now you can't do something that's supposed to be like kind of quick. Rogue can get dialogue expertise at level one. Hmm. I can dismiss him if I go to camp. So, but he'll be down one wild shape charge, which is annoying. Where are you going? We have work to so wait them. here. So that's how you get him to hang out. Female gift thing. No check? Really? Yeah. Okay. Well... Time is it? 
11.39. I'm getting sleepy. But at the same time, I want to kill Ragslin and Minthara. Let's jump. Let's, uh, let's finish out these drums. Because if I pull Minthara and someone gets to... Well, I guess there's a drum right at Minthara, huh? I'll just get all the ads from Ragslin, which actually may not be a bad thing. That might be ideal if I keep having I go? goblins coming from Ragslin. But there are two, there are two, for anyone who doesn't know, there's a drum here and then a drum there. Knock oh, thanks for reminding me. I'll try to knock her out. I prefer to do that. Let's Let's not do anything suspicious while it's watching. How about I stop following you, eh? How'd you like that? He's just yelling at the scrying eye. It's hilarious. I've never seen that. I try to do this. Let's do grow defense. Dude, it's been so long since I did a grow defense. I'm not even sure how I would. I can't remember a lot of it. I remember spiders coming over. Don't smite her? Oh. Like, I could starting out. Well, 50, 52 damage. I can, I can crit for 55. Okay. What are we waiting for? Not, uh, fuck, what am I doing? These guys not move? Don't they cross the bridge at some point? That thing's no longer watching me. The village to the east. Still don't have a invisibility pot. So I only have one invisibility. You can usually throw them in the chasm, yeah. I thought these guys like walked across the bridge at one point, but it doesn't appear that they do. So now I'm wigging because part of me wants to like invis up to her and just like smite her in one shot. Or at least like get surprise. Um say so, okay, I'm I do not care about backseating. Unless, like, you're a dick, which no one is. So, feel free to do it. If you have a better idea than me, then say it. When the eye isn't watching? Oh! What's the chance? 60? 
Hold up, hold up, hold up. Damn it. Now it's 70. That's such a low chance. Fucking eye, dude. Actually, I could just thunder wave him if he comes back. And with this, with his eye being really annoying. Try it. No! Don't. Fuck it, dude. <laughs> God damn it. Um. Okay. <laughs> Fuck you. Get out of here, dude. Alright. To you. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I got my uh, heart pumping a little bit. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see where they're at. They're chilling again. Oh, they're not even hostile. Okay, so that just worked. Oh, this is. Because if I walk up, I trigger her. I really need to be invisible. That's the only way I feel comfortable. I mean, I guess, let's see what happens. If I walk this way. Swift as my feet can carry me. Where's she going? Where's she going? Is she coming to me? Come to me? Hold on. Hold on. I only have a couple turns left. We go. Fuck it. I don't care. <laughs> uh, 36. We divine smite on crit. And we got surprise. Okay. We uh, passive. Non lethal. We still have one round of surprise. She goes after me, which is really good. Please hit. We don't luck this. We don't smite this. Okay. We pray next turn that one of our attacks hits. You're not surprised? Don't you dare go that. He can't play this round, can he? Okay. Knockout. Shit. I'm not going to be able to um, stop the war drum. I could, well, I could haste pot. Is that worth a haste pot? Stop the war drum? Because I, I, I need to take her out, otherwise... I could get held in literally one shot. Or just, like, die. I, I have to hit her. I have... Now I have to haste bot. There's no choice. Can't believe I missed twice. Unlucky. Get out of the way. I can't see. Okay. Let's 
see what he does. Cool. Then smack the wardrobe. Oh, I up. So is that always... Do you... Sh hold on, though. So, do you always want passive uh, knockout on? Because sh they had eight hit points, and I did seven. It brought them to one, which knocked them out. So it's like free damage. Am I right in coming to this conclusion? Seems right. I just have to remember to like go around and kill well that's tedious. To like go around and kill them afterwards. So you can loot their weapon. But interesting. You you literally just get free damage when you're trying to knock them out. It will just show one less with passive on. Oh, it adjusts the HP? Interesting. Boots of Striding are very, very good. I think I'll probably use these. Probably use these. Oh, I gotta... Oh, I can't loot her? Take it yeah, off. Really. Okay, so she's alive. <laughs> but she's naked. Um... And like even the hunting short bow. So the reason you can kind of make these boots super duper good. Um, you do the hunter's mark and then you kill whoever it's on. But then the hunter mark is like still sitting here in your concentration ready to be deployed again. Like indefinitely unless your concentration is broken. So then your boots are striding. Um, you can never be knocked prone or moved against your will as long as you're concentrating on that. Kind of nice. These boots have seen everything. Those was the shield of faith. Yeah, hell yeah. Wish I had a bag of holding. Gotcha. Okay. I thought I was on to something. Okay. See, this is the thing. Oh. I didn't crit, did I? So I'm okay missing one spell slot. Although Raglan is a real big boy fight. Where is... There is... Um, there you go. Um... I'm hoping this plays the way I want it to. If not, we'll have the whole camp hostile to us. Yeah, I have the whole camp. That's not what I wanted. Yeah, I was going to get the spiders on my side after I cleared those two out. Just getting that one spell slot. Yeah, because I was probably going to rest if I only have one second level, right? But having two is huge. Yeah! 
I would get Minthar on your team. Uh, in Act 2, you can re-encounter if you knock her unconscious. Is that why we watch solo autumn runs? See deaths? No. Well, Guidance... Um, well, yeah, I guess Guidance is 10 turns. Oh, I've got a good idea. I think. Oh. <laughs> Dang. Ragsons over there. We'll give him one more turn. And then we'll ping pong a little bit. Statue can be knocked into him? What statue? Is there another cool thing that I'm missing? Dude, look at all those guys. Kiting time! Hell yeah! Dang it. Ah, man. If I could get rags on in there, that would be so big. There we go. Let's try this. No, they both saved. Damn it. That is the Booyog. Uh-oh. Um... Crumbling statue on the left wall. You can just stone it and cause it to crash. God damn it. It keeps readjusting my camera. Oh, I'm dead! I got held? Oh, I might be dead, dude. Best case, okay. More than likely I'm dead. Best case scenario, I break out of hold person this turn, and then I just take a crap ton of damage next turn. Let's see. Let's see. More than likely I'm dead. We just hope I roll out my ass. Yeah, I failed. I'm dead. GG, guys. It was fun. Yeah, strong but mistaken cost dearly. Yeah. For sure. Absolute power. 
I think even if I save, I lose my turn, right? So, like, he, everyone would have to miss. There's no way that happens. I for sure die. This is perfect timing, too. It's almost midnight. <laughs> no! It might be best to go, uh... Something good with, um... Will saves early. That, again, like, maybe I try Monk. Maybe I try Monk next playthrough. Wait, I can go? Huh? Bye. Dude, no way, dude. No way that just happened. I thought you skipped your turn for some reason when you save, because I've had that happen where I save and I lose my turn and then I get to go next turn. Dude, no way, dude. And this is why you pick Orc, my friends. This is why you pick Orc. Bye. <laughs> okay, that's a good place to call it. Why don't we uh, start with that fight next time, huh? Jesus Christ. Oh, no way, dude. Oh, no way. I'm going to... Uh, once I'm finally done streaming and I retire, I'll probably make a video of, like, all my deaths. But I'll also make a comp compilation of, like, all the insane close calls. So, this is why you go orc, dude. You make a mistake, it's okay, you're orc. Hell yeah. All right. It is midnight, so I'm going to take off and head to bed. Thanks a lot, guys, for hanging out, chilling with me. Um, it's always good talking to you guys, and I love it. Like, when you guys that know what the fuck's going on, teach me stuff. It feels awesome. So I learn so much every time I stream. Uh, really appreciate you guys. So um, anyone who's not in the Discord yet, I'll plug it one more time. Um, come hang out, man. Uh, come hang out and discuss stuff and uh, shoot the shit. So, all right. <laughs>